This show is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find the other great shows on the network, head over to the Deluxe Edition Network.com. Bev's Video Kingdom is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm I'm still okay. You're still jacked from that mm. that dazed and confused oh, pod last. I love week. that movie. Draft I'm, day. I'm no longer dazed or confused. <laughs> I, I still got a contact high. Oh yeah. Hey, dazed and confused. We did last week. This is Bev's Video Kingdom. I'm Zach. We got Nate. Nate. Bradley. Brad. I'm Brad. And Scotch back. I'm Scotch. <laughs> <laughs> so. As you heard at the beginning of the episode, we're part of the DIN Network. Uh, Nate, what do you got to say about the DIN Network? Well, just generally, I love it. It's got a bunch of you know, f- bunch of great shows. Go to the go to their website. Go to their socials. Um, one in particular that we're sort of featuring this month is Metalhead Journeys. Mm-hmm. Um, and one cool thing that they just had an episode. So they, they kind of I feel like they're our kindred. They're sort of like a good kindred spirit with us in the sense that. They like to kind of rank things, come up with lists, think about the universe of possible things. And I, I thought the one, the, an episode they just did that was really cool and would be a hard one to think of is best album that didn't have a weak song. Oh, oh right. And yeah. it took me a minute. Cause like I was Weezer like, Blue album. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. And Justice for All, Persistence of Time Anthrax. And Green Day Dookie. Yeah, right. I don't know if those are all metal, but you know, so they might have been covered. But those are great. Zach, Zach didn't hear that you were saying metal. It was metal, so. So metal. I did. I did listen to a little bit of that episode, and they started with rock, which isn't exactly metal. Which you know, these guys are metal heads. And one thing that I'm going to disagree with because they mentioned the album because they they actually were talking about a ranking from another like magazine or something, and they said that Fleetwood Mac Rumors was listed. And one one of the guys, I'm not sure who it was, I'm not going to say names, didn't really agree. And I have that on my wall right now. And I'm, so I'm going to strongly disagree on the record that Fleetwood Mac Rumors is one of the best albums from start to finish. Front to back. You don't skip. Oh, I thought, I thought we said metal albums. Well, they, they did rock and metal on this on this episode. So. Is Fleetwood Mac rock? No, well, oh, dude, so it's rock. It's rock, for it's rock. sure. Yeah. And I would say oh. that the, the record you have next to it is uh, My Dude. Huey Lewis, Lewis. <laughs> is the sports, sports album. Yeah. It's the one of the greatest albums of all time. I just listened to Such it the other day album. on so Spotify. We're, Such a great album. We're in the uh, Bosco Jenkins Cantina and Showroom um, recording this, and I have some albums up on the walls. And yeah, he's uh, got Eagles Greatest Hits Volume Three. There's a Mazzy Star album. I think that would qualify <laughs> <laughs> no? for my wall. Or no, I'll see myself no. out. Okay. Yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, anyways, yeah, check them out. It, it's a great pod, and, and even if you're not a metalhead, there's some really fun conversations. Check our socials, because that's where you'll see some of the uh, the highlights coming around from the uh, the Deluxe Edition Network. So. If you look at our stories, we, we put a lot of the new episodes up, so just follow our story, and you'll see the stuff. You, you pick the stuff you really like. There you go. And the last thing I'll say is, if you do love one of these other podcasts on the Den Network, uh, tell them Bev's Video Kingdom sent you over there. Huh? Oh, you sure. get, you'll get a 5% discount on listening to their, their episodes. Yep, yeah. it'll be 5% cheaper or is it two for podcast. one or is it five percent two for two for one two for one ended in september oh, okay so it's not okay. a two for one oh, because sure. that would impl- imply that there's a one that you need to pay at some point <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, right. What, are we, what are we doing today zach we are here so inspired by uh the decisive performance from uh, mr slater in dazed and confused we went for are we going most memorable or best? Because my wife asked me, and then in this category, I feel like that's the same thing. How do you do the best? It's always stoning. the same. How do you do the best? Yeah. Best the one that stoner, the best. Best. Oh, the I didn't even say what it was. Best. best stoner or most memorable stoner. Which one do you guys want to? It's go most with? memorable. Memorable. Always most memorable. Memorable. I feel like we really push most memorable. We've we've got. I know, <laughs> but that, but that that's that's because that's that's all opinion. So uh, uh, I want to say there's a big question we have to ask here when we're talking about stoners, especially stoners from movies, because mm-hmm. there's a couple or or a few or many 
stoners that come in pairs. I mean, stoners oh, okay, are social. Okay. Cre- they're stoners are social creatures. <clears throat> so think all, about not all of them. Think right. about think about that okay. for a second. That's true. Right? Meth heads probably do it alone. Should you get? <laughs> should you get? The whole group or the one. But the first question is, stoners, are we exclusively talking about marijuana use? They better be focused on weed. I weed. think so, In too. my opinion. Yes. You guys what? agree. Yes. yes. I'm saying what do you if mean you... What? Like, I don't think Hunter S. Thompson, uh, Raul Duke, I don't think he qualifies I, I for this. I did not put him on my list Neither because did I, even while he might smoke some favorites. weed here... He's he's a he's a mix of all. Agreed. He's a druggie. We would well, call I mean, them druggies. Doing yes. a lot of yes. mescaline he would be and acid a druggie. stuff. Okay, first of all, I don't like the pejorative you're using for druggie. I just he's want to a druggie. Record. Second, the capital D. Why are we druggist? Okay, fine. Stoners, fine. If you guys want to be, if you guys <laughs> have you be, ever hey, seen, I think that's an important like, distinction. Look at that stoner. If have, you, think, have you ever done that? You know yeah, you're, you're a potist. You're like, look at this crick head. You're a potist. Okay, you're you know you want to put pot above every other. That's fine. Again, in the spirit of the movie that we just covered. Last week, they smoked a lot of weed in Thank that movie, eat, and eat. so we're doing stoners, which has okay. to do with weed. You, so and, I, you and your logic can eat it. Oh, no, specific. Okay. The specific. What, what drugs would you incorporate into the the, the, the lexicon of stoners? Yeah, let's you, okay. just weed. You get stoned on. You get stoned on mushrooms. No, you can say you can say on, that. I mean, I guess in the Bob Dylan sense of the word, you could say that. But I think in you know present day mainstream culture, a stoner is somebody that smokes weed. Okay, I'm going to look it up in the Oxford Dictionary, and I'll get back to you. Hey, okay. draft <laughs> draft whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. But take Fred Savage. Stoners from, are uh, weed, weed smokers. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. We're, we're settled. <laughs> okay. You but guys suck. But again, let's let's talk about what you brought up. So the, the next pairs. question: the the groups or pairs? Because I think there's even more than there's two. a few. There's, there's a couple so, of trios. Are we going to say that you can draft the individual from the group or the whole group? I am going to throw my vote into the, the into the fire first because I think it uh, my reasoning may resonate with you. There's so many in this category that I think that you get the whole group. You get the partnership. Yep. I'm with you, Zach. (sighs) It's not like this is a category where there's like 10 and we don't know. You know what I mean? And then there's like some really random ones. There's so many. Yeah. Including multiple partnerships. I have over 16 on my list. So that means I have enough to go through. If all my picks got picked, I have I have enough, you know, including the, all I, partnerships. I have one more thing to discuss before we decide. Scotchback, what do you vote? But that's two votes. My my vote, and I think I brought this up early. Um, I think we should separate them because I think. No, that, I like that. You're entitled to that. Yeah, I, I, yes. and uh, personally, the reason why I say that is because there's a couple of the pairs where one of them isn't really that great of a pick, and it also it it, it adds a little bit of strategy, which is kind of interesting because you're like, well, if you want this guy I and this you. guy. And you have the wrap, you're, you're the fourth pick, and you're like, you know what? Shit, I'm going to take this guy and this guy for my next pick, which is a strategy. Or you can choose, I'll just take this guy and just roll the dice. Fuck it, I'm changing my vote. I'm going singles. Really? I, I don't disagree with your, with your argument. Nathan? I'm going to abstain. My top 16 were all uh, cocaine, meth, and heroin users, so it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> You have to, you have to, you have to throw in some. Input. So it's two no, to that's, one. That's so we're going, one. So, so we're going singles. singles. That's singles. fine because I'm not going to pick any of them. So you guys can fucking beat yourself to death with the singles. All good. Okay? I, I, lo- I, I want to hear some justifications of which which partnerships. Well, I love how is. fickle Brad is. He's like, oh no, wait, I changed my mind. He lays out this really like like very strong argument. Well, and he's like, no, never. Mind. I think <laughs> it was a very solid argument from from Scotch Bag. Well, it was, and well, it's what? a good thing you're a full fledged member of the pod now because your opinion wouldn't have been shit like two weeks ago. That's fact. But what's fucking funny? Go drink some grenadine, Scott. (laughs) What's funny is off off the record, we fucking have this discussion already like a week ago, and I lost the argument completely, so I made my list based on fucking picking the teams together, so now I I have to think on the fly. Oh, yes! You You just fucked yourself. (laughs) I love that. You don't think that was strategy, Scotch? Why do you think I changed my vote? I hate you fuckers. (laughs) All right, Zach, I have a quick question for you. What is today? Uh, 927? (laughs) No, real. What is what, it is, what are we doing right now today? We're we're at the cantina. <laughs> no, no. What, what are we doing on this podcast? What is I'm? What is oh, shit. Okay. 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 Draft day. I challenge you, motherfuckers out there. I challenge all of you. Get on your phone, record yourself doing the metal scream, <laughs> so and good. do it better 
or higher or longer than Scotch Beck, and I will give you fucking. So, so, so we, we that had was a, not Axl Rose. Oh my god, <laughs> god we had a we had a, we had a text discussion of like what we wanted there, and it, the the decision was like, <laughs> we wanted a cock rock spring, scream, to which I immediately said I need an example. I don't know what cock rock is, and then so it was so it was sent and determined, and I shit you not, like. Scott's cock is lifting his side of the table right now. Like that yeah. is the cockiest, well, rockiest scream. You know, I mean, I'm the oldest member of the pod, and By a lot. every day I wake up, and and the first thing I do every morning is I drop my pants and I see if my balls have dropped, <laughs> and, and they're not there yet, so I can still do performances that. like that. I think because you're, and that. every time you're like, yes, yes, yes. Now I, can, I can still do I, fucking I, the outfield, yeah. your love. That's right. And, and, and it's not even the fact that he hits that high note, but then he hits the high note and then he drops down and then brings it right back up. And it's just yeah. that perfect little, a little crescendo up and down and back up a little bit. So, That's just, so oh. I, I, I'm going to give a little shout out to uh, people with kids that are like 10 or 12 years old right now, because I've got a 10 year old and a 12 year old and they're both boys and they were really into Mater and cars. And I don't know if you guys ever watched the Mater Tall Tales. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's an intro to one of those episodes where he's like, ah, yeah, and he does the he does the same like yeah, type he was of like a metal screen. singer for yes, a second. Dude, and it is so reminiscent of Scott's uh <laughs> of Scott's bumper that he recorded. Ah, so so there's fucking young. awesome. Besides the point, all we can say is <laughs> what that song signifies is that it is draft day, and that means we need a draft order. Is that correct? That's correct. I think we do. All right. So folks, I I've spent the last week. And working until three a, editing a, 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 <laughs> in a state of stupor because i <laughs> I'm, I'm blessed to live in a town that has multiple weed shops and, and our town's not even that big and they're like right down the street from each other dude and they're like building a fucking compound dude in, i got i got on like a town. little motorized scooter and i just decided <laughs> i'm gonna go back and forth between these shops and just i'm gonna pick out the names of the of the the strains that like just speak to me so I go in there, and the, the first stop, I get over there, and I walk in the door, and I'm looking around, and all of a sudden, I see this, this it's got like a little weird little insignia on it, and it looks like it's like a little uh, uh, boat in Vietnam. I was like, it's called Apocalypse Wow. <laughs> I was like, okay, what? I got to buy this. That's a great name for a I bought Apocalypse Now. I thought for I mean, sure it was going to be like a wow. Nate Indica or something. Apocalypse Wow, and I I just said okay, let's put this in, and I put that in my pipe, and I just start hitting <laughs> let's that shit put hard. This in. And, and I inserted it into my body. <laughs> I dude, I went. I all of a sudden was like having flashbacks. Like I was like I was not in Nam, but all of a sudden I'm having Nam oh, flashbacks. Shit. And my commander on this boat is is a guy named Zach, and I was like, wow, oh, this is oh, no more my pig, mind. baby, no more pig, blow my mind. And then finally, like I woke I woke up and I was like, okay, well shit. Let me get back on my little motorized scooter and go down to the, the back to the other shop. I go back to the other shop, walk in. I'm looking around, and all of a sudden I see this one, and it's it's got a a mushroom cloud on it. Ooh. And it's called Doctor Strain Bud, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Smoke the Bomb. <laughs> Nice. It's like an emo, an emo weed. And it has I, like two paragraphs for the song <laughs> title. I, I bought the Doctor Strain Bud and I and I took it outside and I lit that shit up. And next thing you know, I'm running around and I I didn't realize I'd grabbed like a big rock and I'm acting like I'm riding it around and like I crashed into the <laughs> ground. I passed out for like 45 minutes. I was like, fuck, okay, that that hit me hard. And then when I woke up on the rock, somebody had tagged. Nate was here, and I was like, "Oh, that's weird." Yeah, they did. Fuck. So that was that was actually, that, was, that, that was, was the second trip. That was actually me. I tagged that. You just you left some rock. <laughs> yeah, out they did. Deal? Okay. <laughs> so I get back on my my scooter. I go back over to the other weed shop. I walk in. What kind of scooter are we talking? Razor? Motor, no, it's a little motorized <laughs> scooter. A little motorized it's like a okay. razor with a small. All right, all right. I'm it's, just making they're, sure they're they're like legitimately like 200 yards from each other. So it's just back and forth. So I go back to the other one. I walk in. And I see this one, and it's got this whole like little that seventies like show logo, and it's just the Ashton Kushter. I was like, <laughs> okay, well Ashton Kushter, I gotta hit that, buy that shit, walk outside, and I hit it, and next thing you know, uh, Kushter's uh, Kushter's wife Mila Kunis, she's trying to sell me mm. whiskey, but instead of old number seven, it was it was it was Scotch. She works for Jim Beam, like, or instead Jim Beam. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> instead of Jim Beam, it was it was actually Scotch. I was like, oh shit, Scotch. Okay, I thought she sold Jim Beam, but uh, she's giving me some Scotch. Scotch number two. And that was so, Scotchback. That was yeah. That was that third trip. For, oh, I love that. Well, you that was the, the shittiest. That was the third spot. trip. Yeah. So yeah. I finally head back to be down. I get back on that scooter. I, I swerve around a little bit. I ended up in Modesto, and then finally, like, I came back. This scooter's got amazing charge. I, how many not recommend it? <laughs> you go a long long scooter. So I they, get back to the final weed shop. I, I walk in, and you know, there's one, and it has it has a llama on it. It's like, oh, that's kind of funny. I like llamas, and it was called Rasta Llama Ding Dong. <laughs> So I go out, I grab that, I smoke that shit, and next thing you know, this llama comes running up next to me, and it's got a saddle on the saddle that says, Brad. I was like, okay, I jump on, I start riding the llama around, and then next thing you know- The llama's name was Brad? <laughs> the saddle said what, Brad. I didn't, a, that, I didn't know if the, the llama's saddle was for me, or if it was, that, that it's the name of the llama, so I, I was confused. But all of a sudden, it drove me through the McDonald's uh, drive through mm. And next thing you know, I had two Big they'll, Macs. They'll let you through fries, on a llama. A hot fudge sundae. <laughs> and then I was back at my house. So it all worked out well. That was my fourth trip. That's oh, the Mc- craziest draft order that's, story we've ever heard that's of. That's a lot of weed. <laughs> McDonald's. That's a hell of a day. I, I said, it took me a week to do this. And I thought it was just one day, but it was actually a week. I didn't know. I was like pretty llamas. disheveled by the end. That's, that's you thought it was one day, but it was a week. <laughs> <laughs> just like dazed and confused. So that that first weed, the uh, the apocalypse. Wow, that was Zach. the the second The second strain was Doctor Strain Bud, or how I learned to stop worrying and smoke the bomb. That's Nate. <laughs> Ashton Kushter. That's Scotch. And the Rasta Lama Ding Dong. That's fourth. That's Brad. Hey, I'm I'm associated with Mila. I'm good. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, she's so her, her her lucrative sponsorship with mm-hmm. uh, number seven, <laughs> no. Jim Beam number seven. <laughs> <laughs> That was the that was their collab, <laughs> the Jim Beam J- Jack Daniels collab. <laughs> Jack Daniels is always reaching out to Jim Beam to do collabs. <laughs> like all the breweries are doing it, why can't we? All right, so we are going to draft most memorable stoners. We have decided that it must be weed based, and that you can take the single person from a group and not the entire group. Well, can you take the whole group too, or is it you is cannot? It, it, no, you cannot okay, take good, the group. Good. I just that's wanted to make sure. What, that's what we, we said decided. It. Okay, it's you, been thirty two seconds. One of the other. I can see how you would forget. Yep. All right, now it's fucking about weed, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, are we ready? How do we start? How do we usually start the draft? You you make your pick because you're first. Uh, we don't have a bumper. <laughs> We have like six bumpers. Remember that time? Remember that time when Scott yelled, "Trap day!" That was the start. With my number one pick, I think this is a very clear number one for can't, me. Can't wait to hear oh your boy. clear number one. <laughs> I don't even think it's close, and I'm glad that I got it because I don't think I would get it otherwise. And I'm going to go Jeff Bridges as the dude in Big Lebowski. I think that's the number one quintessential. Just amazing performance, amazing movie. It checks every box. We've talked about it ad nauseum on this podcast obviously you're not a golfer <laughs> <laughs> while i can't argue i, I mean I, I can definitely say that there are other number ones that i think would be as good i'm not mad at this pick at all i think it's great but i could i don't think there's an absolute clear one of one except for i think there is a clear one of one yeah. Yeah. when so, i ended up four i was like fuck i don't get the dude this right. sucks. i knew so, i wouldn't so, get the so dude. regardless he, yeah, he, of which pick he went i was like at fourth yeah. i'm not getting there's the dude. no way you get the dude but but i but that's not the one on one and, and hey, my argument here is this. i think so too it's I, I think the dude is the is the the best if you've seen it right this is really where you get the distinction mm-hmm. because if it's most memorable like the dude is sort of like in the lexicon for movie people and for sure like deep movie people because you have yeah, not like everybody's seen Lebowski. People right? that listen to movie podcasts, those people, yeah, like weirdos. But uh, um, so, so I think the big, easy like pop culture one for me is Cheech from oh, Cheech and Chong. Wow. Okay. Oh, I think Cheech out of Cheech and Chong for sure. And, and you know the reason. Yeah, Malagro, I have a stupid reason. Milagro Beanfield War. He's first in the name order. I, I really think that. Like, I think Cheech and Chong, you can make arguments, and Tommy Chong is a crazy, like, pothead. But Cheech, Cheech Marin is a bigger personality outside of Cheech and Chong, and Cheech is Cheech of Cheech and Chong. I so think I'm sometimes the, the more hyper two. partner versus the one that's more low key is, is definitely going to maybe get more. He's just more. I mean, more people are like, oh, that's that's Cheech. So, so can I say what I, th- I, I think? I think it There's loses. No Dave here, man. It loses the punch when you pick one of a duo 
because they're kind of a package deal. Like, yeah, that they they made me do that. No, I know, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you abstain like, from the vote. Shut abstain, the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Scott. What were you gonna say? God, a bunch of I, Democrats. I, I love the fact that right now we're gonna argue over which is the better pick out of the two when the, the other one's still available. So this yeah, is you're right. Which right. adds another layer it. of the. It makes the draft more interesting. Yeah. I, that's why I thought Scotch take Chong. Cool. Let's do it. I'm not gonna do Chong right now because the goddamn one of one. No, I, said, been, I was talking about Chong Lee. <laughs> Chong Lee. He was a big stoner, dude. So you don't get pecs like that without fucking eating a lot of calories when you got the munchies. <clears throat> I'm not. I, I, again, I don't necessarily disagree with the dude or Cheech as being super memorable, and as being the poster child of stoners. But to me, the one of one. If I had the first pick, when you think of a stoner, Spicoli yeah. from fucking Fast I Times. Knew that's where I, I typed that in, and it made me sad because I was like that means I'm. I can't believe either. it dropped to number three. Thank you fucking so much. I've never seen the movie again. You've never seen Fast Times Ridge Mountain. Again, High. that's my point. It's like it doesn't. It sort of, but doesn't totally transcend the people. These people like are crazy, movie. Scotch. These people are crazy. What? Nope. Yeah. What people Wrong. are you fucking talking about, Nate? Wrong. I'm going to do a survey. You There's, haven't seen. <laughs> please do. If I have not seen the movie or watched it, then it doesn't count as right. a real movie. No, I'm not. no, no. I didn't say that. I love Fast Times. I think personally <laughs> Nate, that's Nate a, watches one scene in Fast Times, and we learned about that last week. <laughs> what, have I seen more than that? Uh, Two it? weeks ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> I might have seen more than so, that. So I mean. The most he's one of the most quotable. Just the the his his, he, his performance launched a million other stoners in the eighties. That's why I think Spicoli is the one of one. So what makes me think not is that Slater from Days, Days of Confused. Confused. You think he was copying uh, Spicoli? Hundred percent. Or do you think there was already somebody that he was emulating before that? No. So. I, I I absolutely think he was like he had to have watched Fast Times at some point. He life. watched a lot of stoner well, movies. And yeah. was like, I'm just well, no, obviously that, him. obviously yeah. that. But I'm saying like Spicoli came before all of them. But wouldn't it be kind of lame for Linklater to have that character be like that? But he's only doing a Spicoli. He wasn't doing a Spicoli. Spicoli we 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 talked about that a little bit last week. Is that Spicoli has like a hyper surfer dude about him, and that's not what what Slater has. I guess you're right. I don't know. I think it's a great pick. I think that's the argument for one of one. Uh, if you've ever, if dude. you've ever seen that that surfer dude video, it's like the YouTube clip where the guy's like, and then I turned, got pitted, and it's like, Rah, oh, duh. that's a great like clip. that yeah. dude. Like that's the greatest video. <laughs> that's like Spicoli, dude. Like he's like that is Spicoli. And I'm not going to shit on the first two picks. Honestly, these first three, I think they're hard in, to the, shoot, in the yeah. top three, and it's top, but 100. But I'm very glad that Spicoli dropped. Which why the fourth pick sucks. Balls. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. A now it's a very here. gray area. God damn. Although I mean, there are some great picks, but it's I think it's those three are the top three. I'm going to go ahead and take just two great picks, though. I mean, I've, I've got uh, some great picks just sitting here. Let's don't hear how great it. these picks are. And I know, I know what one of them is going to be. The first, the first one is, I mean, this guy came on the scene, and, and if you watch this movie and it came out, you're not going to uh, – uh, and you're not quoting this movie, you were crazy because it just was anywhere you went, you were hearing quotes from this movie. I'm dropping – Smokey from yeah. Friday. I, I hope that was where you're mm-hmm. gonna go because Chris the Tucker four. and his like coming out party of just being like, I am a fucking badass. You got actor. knocked the fuck out. Yeah, just 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 so many damn lines and uh uh it, So you're it, taking Chris Tucker. Yes Smokey. Smokey. I, I don't know. I I I'm, I've seen those movies a couple times. I'm not a not a big Friday fan, but I just I'm, I'm sure not gonna not joke. taking Ice Cube. I'm not no, yeah, oh I'm not gonna too. say like I I my preference is legit actually next Friday, but I think Smokey's the more iconic, most memorable. Oh, because, because no Chris Tucker's he, not, in he's not, in one, right? he's not in the second one. He's not in the second one. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's, no, that's my first. That, that movie launched his career. Like yeah. he, that was his coming out. He was out like, party. I do movies with Jackie yeah. Chan now. So great. <laughs> is that how he talks? <laughs> is that not how he talks? <laughs> I do I mean, movies with Jackie Chan now. And I, I don't know I how do movies <laughs> with um, Jackie Chan. I don't now. know how many times I've, qu- I've said, Fuck man, it's Friday. Ain't got shit to do. Might as well get high. <laughs> I've said that no numerous times over my over my life. Oh, it's yeah. it, all time great. Yeah, it's a third round pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
So my next pick, though, sneak attack, Scotchback. What do you got with this? Your is where fifth this is pick? where sometimes you have to take a pick that you know is probably not going to re- come back to you, and so you do it early just because you don't give a fuck. I like, I like how you're prefacing, just, and it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I'm, I'm reaching he, way he, hard because I'm trying to give a fuck. it doesn't even matter because this is in and, and, and actually said it when I told my wife week. the the category, she said you're going to take, and I was like, yes, of course I'm going to, and it's not even a big role. It's a very small role, but. It is one of my favorite portrayals of a stoner of all time. I'm taking Floyd. God Brad damn Pitt. It, I called it, bitch. didn't I? Brad Pitt from I you, you whispered it to me. <coughs> Floyd. Oh, uh, that's early. In true romance. Dude. I don't give a shit if it's early because there has never a been pick, a better but... portrayal of a legit, just straight up it's guy on so the couch good. stoner who's obviously just loves smoking weed, but also he's got like a kind of little rough side to him. Because he's kind of pleasant at first, like a stoner, but then as soon as as soon as uh, Gandolfini leaves, like he's just don't be condescending me, man. You know, I'll, I'll you, fucking kill you, kill like, you, man. He's so <laughs> fucking great. You straight up stole that from me right now. You know, you know the tab. That's why I took it with the fifth overall pick because it's such a great fucking role, and I knew it's not getting back around to me. The tabloid stories it's gonna be right on my now, team. This isn't going to come out for a couple weeks, but the tabloid stories right now are Brad Pitt is dating Emily Ratajkowski. Shit, he really? Good that's for, good that's for what him. I'm that's what I'm good seeing. For him. Talk about like so Angelina Jolie is like Emily Ratajkowski, but like at forty five or whatever now, right? Like Are we fucking a gossip show now? I'm just saying, dude. That's kind of wild. I want to talk about Floyd and his fucking <laughs> a honey bear uh, uh bong that he's ripping from. Which is just the best. Look, you go down here and you keep driving <laughs> and you keep driving and then, and then you're going to turn right. You, you want to hit this? He fucking loses track of his thoughts. Like, it's fucking a great stoner, dude. I know. And that's the thing. But the, it's the pleasant conversation. And so yeah. if you're like, oh, he's stereotypical pleasant. And but he's, then he, as soon as he leaves, he's just like, fucking don't be condescending me, man. Yeah. Fucking kill you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, uh, but he's also, he doesn't overdo it, right? No. Yeah. I don't it, think I don't think Brad Pitt overplays the stoner uh, bit there at all, and it's easy to do from a, a lot of these guys, as yeah. you can see. Yeah, it's 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 just about as perfect portrayal as you can get of a stoner. So that's why he's getting a fifth round pick, I, or, uh, the fifth overall pick. I think that's early, but it's a great pick. I think he had to take it there. I, I honestly you think it goes. It was, I don't think it it was going to be my probably my next pick. Oh, God, I, I'm so glad you guys stole all my good picks. So I, I had at least. I think that makes it back. I don't care to if I took I'm it. I'm so glad which, you guys are ahead of me because you guys are just shit in the bed, which, just uh, everywhere. Actually. It, I might not have grabbed it because of all the guys. I had a feeling Brad would take it. So if he didn't take it now, I might have waited to, to see if it would get around to me. It but w- I, 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 I think I might have grabbed it, and you guys would have. I would have lost my I mind if it would have. If it yeah. would have been missing and then come around on the on the on the the wrap. It wouldn't have made two rounds. Yeah. Can you no go, fucking way. Can you hold on a second? I'm gonna go get a drink and then. You guys can talk about the Floyd pick for another 10, 12 that's, minutes. That's how good of a pick it is. That's how much conversation we create. Because it's, it's worth <laughs> right. 10% of it's the so entire It's so fucking just okay. talking about right, who team three. should have taken Here we Floyd. Go. All right. Scott, let's go. Okay. My, okay. my next pick. The weather outside is weather. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go with Kunu, I, the surf instructor, uh, and Sarah have, Marshall, Paul Rudd. It's a really good pick. Yeah. But man, how much weed does Paul Rudd smoke in that movie? He asks him he, he, one thing that can fix it: weed. I mean, got I, it? He talks about it, right? We're talking about stoners. We're not talking about people actually smoking weed on. So film. I put him on my also rounds, and I wasn't going to draft him because I was like, man, he never actually smokes. It's stoner. There's agreed. There's times you don't even have to worry about and, the fact. And, that and, no, they no, don't no, do no. It on, on on screen. If we're allowing it, which I'm down to allow it. It's an amazing Oh, you could definitely pick. take it. And I think it's so fucking... Uh. I'm going with Kunu. <laughs> weather you guys, you guys are upset. Weather. You guys are upset. I understand that. All right. So uh, this one, I this is one of the trio. I love that Nate just got, the, just got a random it, list up right it now. It does get interesting, do. though, because you make a good <laughs> point. Because Excuse me. there are it's some people stone. that, like, are they a stoner? Right. Because you never see them smoke weed. Right. That's true. But, no, so, he mentions it. You're correct. I didn't even think about that. And I meant to bring this up. 
like earlier on, like, well, how do we define a stoner? So I was, so I was yeah. gonna make that point, but then we just got we talked too Fuck long. it. Let's just <laughs> let's just pick, and then we can argue, and then whatever. Yes, no, I like That's that the point. Pick, though, That's kind of the point of this podcast. <laughs> obviously but, a stoner. Uh, he moved to Hawaii, lives on the beach, right. and he talks like a let's stoner. Let's just all let's just one at a time make our picks without any discussion. Let's just do. Let's just pick. You sound like y'all from London. Talk a lot about what we might have done. We're 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 four six picks in. We should just go off the rails. Yeah, we All are right. pretty. We are pretty deep. In this. I'm down to talk about Kunu some more. All right, so I'm picking this as much because of the movie as I am because of the character. Good pick. So let's move on. It has to be no discussion. If I when I think of a single movie and I think of like what movie is the is the, is on is the top of like the the number one on Mount Rushmore for pot movies, it's half baked. Okay. Okay. So who's your pick as the best stoner yeah. from half baked? Is it gotta I, be Thurgood? I, I'm gonna gotta be Thurgood. Yeah. So I'm gonna go Thurgood and my argument is similar to the Cheech pick, which is like there's different arguments for each of them. But Chappelle is like he becomes a, he's one of the f- best comedians, you know, arguably, and has one of the best sketch shows of all time. He's great in the movie too. So I you know, there's a lot of hard to pick a pick a favorite there, but I'm gonna go Thurgood. The best stoner in that movie is is fucking uh, uh The guy that kills the horse. He hey, is. He's the best. No, maybe, the, you maybe you should no. draft him. Maybe you should draft him instead of talking about it. No. It's our boy. It's our boy who came to Houston. I don't know what that means. What? Somebody came to Houston from Half Baked. What is happening right now? Wow. What? Well, well, maybe Jim should, Brewer. Who played the first concert at the, <laughs> the Fruit Yard? Jim Brewer. Who played the? You were there at the fucking concert. Who played the first concert? At, oh, Willie Nelson. Oh, Willie Nelson. <laughs> Willie Nelson. <laughs> In half bag, he was in half bag. When, when he says, <laughs> "Fuck Willie Nelson," he says, "You know how much a dime by bag cost back then?" He's like, "A dime," and he's like, "You know how much condoms cost back in the day?" I don't know. We wasn't wearing them. <laughs> 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 he just plays the old timer. He doesn't have a name. He's just uh, the old timer. You're right. Well, you should draft him, bro. Yeah, take I think him. he's I'm available. Take, take the best guy from half bag. I'm gonna take him in my seventh pick. There Fuck Willie Nelson. You'll, he'll be there for you because <laughs> he fucking goes to bed at nine thirty. All right, wrap it after playing thirty third. <laughs> God, I fucking <laughs> You got me all worked up now talking about Willie Nelson. I just love what did Jim Brewer play the fucking Houston? He played Turlock Theater. <gasps> oh, that's he was in Tur- I saw it. I that's was there. Is that Houston? Were you there? I, yeah. It was so fucking So Weird Al played Houston too? Yeah. I saw that too. Turlock? <laughs> I was there in both of those shows. It was the only two shows I've gone to in Turlock. Was, I swear to God, I've gone to see Jim Brewer and fucking Weird Al. You better be quiet or Nate's gonna fight us all for talking too much in between picks. Oh my god. Hey Nate, how far are we in the draft? <laughs> Needs. <laughs> All right, Zach, you got two picks in a row, my friend. You have the dude so far. So your your team's already stacked. My team is fucking stacked. So oh, dude, add so, to it, man. So I have two in a row. Do they smoke a lot of weed in Swedish movies? <laughs> <laughs> There's a good French. Uh, Let the right toke in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nobody, I'm gonna wait. No, I, nobody's taking Air Bud. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> you fucking asshole. You can't give dogs weed, bro. It fucks with their <laughs> equilibrium, dude. So everybody couldn't dunk. You better fucking edit this podcast or somebody's going to get their dog high and think he can dunk a basketball. I've already done it. And they'd be like, I, oh, my dog can dunk just like Air Bud. <laughs> Zach's cats do like 360 tomahawks. It's like the fucking like disheveled dog comes in. Like, who's that? I, I like oh, that. that's I, Air Red I Bud. I like that's where the fucking line gets crossed. And like, you got to edit that shit. Man, we don't want anyone, any dogs getting any weed. <laughs> We're going to fucking start right. harming dogs. Make dude. some pics. You got two. Yeah. It's going to take us 30 minutes. That's Video <laughs> Kingdom <laughs> dog harming podcast. I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> you guys, this is a problem. There's not enough picks. I don't have enough picks because I've got three people I want to pick. All right. Take Chong and hurry up. I am going to go with the t-shirt and I'm going to go Slater from Days and Confused because... I think that if you take that first scene where we meet Slater out of the movie, he's fucking spectacular in that movie. What does your computer say? <laughs> don't. You just get, he's looking you, at porn. Did you just get an AOL message? <laughs> so don't you go got this, mail. Don't go to the site, Scotch. <laughs> Danger. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Slater from Days of Confused. You yeah, take that first I, I scene type out, that in. He's so fucking spectacular. That's probably where I was going to go. It's, I love it. I, I like his performance. I think he's a great stoner. Um, I, I do regardless not, of what Brad, I'm thinks. not a big fan of it, but we, we talk Brad's about dumb. It. So 
Zach, you got one more pick. Yeah, I know. No, no, I thought that was his, that was his first one. That was pick. I went and got a drink, and Zach made one pick. <laughs> For the <laughs> love of God. We're going to go. We were talking about you getting a drink most of the time, you fuck. Jesus Christ. We're going to go with the movie we talked about last week, PTA. Uh, it's the kind of yin to the yang of my The Dude pick, and I'm going to go Joaquin Phoenix as Larry Doc Sportello in... Inherent Vice. Which I, like, I, I like how he had to Google the name of the movie real quick. What? No, no, no. I had to look up Larry <laughs> Sportello. I didn't. I, I, I was gonna say Doc, but it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't work out. Yeah. So I had to Google that shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's super he's memorable. Movie. Super memorable. But you got to Google your own weirdest pick. fucking movie. You haven't even seen it. I'm just saying. I, you need to fucking watch. I know, but you made the pick and you didn't know the character name. Super memorable. No, it's Doc. I just didn't know his first and last name. They don't oh. call him Larry Sportello. You've seen it, right? <laughs> yes, I have. Sure. You should see it. You would, <laughs> you would fucking like it. I actually, want, I wanted to see it when it, when, it, when it was advertised. And, it's and, very good. And based on you talking about it, I do want to watch but it. But I hate, it's because I hate, uh, you know, Magnolia, so I won't watch any others. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> you lost me at Magnolia. So the other movie, so I, the last the last pick, oh, damn, this is a toughie. The last pick that I made was for the movie. And this I'm also making for the movie. So I would say that if I'm thinking of a second movie to put on Mount Rushmore that is like the pot smoking movie, it's Pineapple Express. I knew it. Uh, I knew it. And of those two, again, hard to choose. So I'm just going to choose because I don't like James Franco. You're canceled. And so I'm taking Seth Rogen's Dale. That's a bad pick. In Pineapple Express, I, I James Franco just fucking rubs me the wrong way, and it, it, I mean, I don't love the stuff about him being canceled. Meaning, I don't love the shit he did. He can be canceled. Have you met long. his brother Dave? He's I, amazing. I like Dave. I mean, I like him as an actor. I like him better. James Franco just fucking drives me nuts. I don't know why, but he's so. great at selling that. And Pineapple Express is like Dazed and Confused. It's one of those movies that there's so many like little parts that I like, but as a whole, I'm just like that movie just, uh, I'm not saying I don't I actually don't particularly like the movie, but it is a stoner like tour de force and Dale is as good as anyone. It was, it's hard to remember how big a deal it was at the time. Like it was a big fucking deal when it came out or at well, least for people. Are that became a partnership that people were like, Oh, this partnership's going to go forever. And I mean, they did do a few movies together and yeah, the interview really kicked that shit off. <laughs> Things went bad. <laughs> All right. Whose pick is it? It's Scotty. mine. You kind of threw me for a little bit of a loop there. I thought for sure you were going to take Franco, but then you brought up all the, the real shit. Um, yeah, basically, we hate you if you pick Franco. Is what Nate right. Said. Um, it, take Franco. Take Kevin Spacey from American Beauty. Yeah, that's true. Oh, he's a pothead. Yeah, I know. He's Straight one of my also rans, but no one's yeah. going to pick him because he's canceled. I'll pick it. Just to be clear, I'll pick the fuck out of a canceled person. <laughs> Just so, want to, I don't want to, I'm not, and I'm not, that does not condone it. I'll, just like I would have Michael Vick on my team, you dog lover. When he's doing, <laughs> oh wow. What? You would, what? I'll, I'll, Scott, I'll, make your pick. Damn you it. would draft Michael Vick I onto your we, fantasy we team? We do not I will, need to delay here. I will start the fuck I'll out fucking, of Michael I'll Vick. I'll start a Ray Caruso on my team, bro. <laughs> Jesus. I got fucking. I fucking kill I'll, pregnant ladies, I'll bro. I'll, I'll, start even o, give a fuck. I'll start OJ Simpson. Uh, what do oh, you got now? He one of one, baby. One of one. All right. Are we doing who like stabby celebrities? Oh, hey, by the way, folks, we're doing, we're doing a, a, a fantasy draft here, a snake fantasy Let, draft. Let's do an all time history fantasy draft where you can only take like fet, like murderers and other like high level. Oh my lord, federal oh my offenders. God, dude. Scotch, make your pick. Hurry all right, up. I'm ready. In this, okay. I am also going to buy a t shirt from the movie. What? And I'm going to go with. All right, all right, all right. Holy shit. Wooderson. I'm going with Wooderson. Another guy that's never seen actually smoking weed. Oh, no. He oh, is. he smokes weed in this movie. When for does he sure. smoke weed? There, a lot of people have joints in their hand almost constantly. Oh, yeah. oh no. On the football field, he smokes weed. You're and correct. he literally asked, nah, he's hey, a stoner you got for a sure. joint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get, like, it. I get it. I get it. I'm nah, saying. Man. He does have I one thought of the, for the a second. Mind. Did you watch this movie? No, I've seen it a couple times. You picked this movie. Okay. Yeah, I'm going with Wooderson with my. Next pick. I don't think that's a bad pick. I just I, I thought for a second I was like, does he smoke weed? But he does. He's fucking I, up I, I, I think I think Slater's a better stoner in the movie, but I think he's a good pick at that. Spot. I think Wooderson as a character is just almost better than everybody in this draft except for that's the why I'm grabbing him. God, I've got four I want to take right now, and I think I've got 
Okay, I've got one I cannot believe. Pick. One I cannot believe got back to me. I can because I know exactly where you're going. I know where you're going to. And I cannot pick. believe I got it. I got it. So, Are you going to pick between the two of them? Oh, one's, it's one's tall, very, one's very easy. One's, we we talked about one's short and fat. You one's want tall the, you and skinny. Want the, you want the hyper social one, and of course, I'm taking Jay. Yeah. Of Jay and Silent Bob. Jay yeah. has to go right now. What the fuck is he doing in the third round, the last pick? This is wild. Mostly because he's a shit actor, but besides that. Oh, my that, God. He, oh. It's it's an absolute blind spot in my movie watching. I, I don't like any of those movies. Dr- drinking so. beers. No, drinking some beers, of them are great, beers, but they're big Rolling nostalgia fatty. vehicles where when you, you watch the them again, you're like, I blunts. guess this is a movie. <laughs> I mean, he was Blunt Man from Blunt Man and Chronic. Right? Oh, my gosh. Like I, I The fact that, that I, I got Jay so late is just Good wild, for Brad. Let's Jay... all hear it for Brad. Everybody, Brad. All right. Good job, Brad. Look at that. That's a fucking a a lot of I don't think applause. anybody's <laughs> ever had an ovation for a, a late round pick steal like that. The so. amount of like awesome applause that that produced was amazing. That was the most like loudest ironic ovation that I've ever heard. Yeah. I, I appreciated it unironically. With each clap, they were laughing at you. All right. And my <laughs> final pick. Oh, man. I've got two that I just want to take that are just funny, but I'm going to go with Silent one Bob? that's the correct pick here. I mean, you know, if you're going to take the greens from all sorts of different golf courses to make your your, your special that's blend. Yeah, that's, a good, that's a good yeah. pick. It was, you got to go Carl Spack. I was thinking about that one. Caddy I was thinking Shack. about that one. I mean, just absolute stoner. Who loves blowing up gophers and he's just <laughs> so terrible. Gets into his own. He's got his own. Just he's he needed a podcast because he's got his think, own little like discussions going on constantly with himself. That I are think just you're. Hilarious. I think you know who our judge is, and you're just trying to play into like his genre. You're saying I didn't pick a great stoner. Is that what you're saying? Yep, that's okay. what I'm saying. I don't agree. It, that was another steal. You grab Floyd. You grab Carl. I should probably should have gone with him first. My list yeah. is legit. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I said, God damn. Have you ever heard anybody like more it. proud of themselves? Like Never. Oh, Who's I'm getting, next? I'm getting cocky right now just because I know where this is going. Who, who picks next? I do. My name is Scotch. Fuck. <laughs> My name is Scotch. <laughs> do we, do we need to fucking, talk a little do we need to stall Floyd? a little bit? Oh, hey, let, it's your pick in the historical murderer's draft. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do cross drafts. <laughs> cross dressing killers? With. Uh, with uh, Hernandez tight end for the Aaron Patriots. Oh, Hernandez. Oh, Aaron Hernandez is a legit pick. Yeah, he's a good killer. Yeah, I think he's the, Damn, by dude. far the best tight end on the list. Best tight end on the list for sure. Yeah. At one point they one had Aaron Hernandez, and Tim Tebow, and uh, no, Tim Tebow was never in the Patriots. No, Florida Gators had Aaron oh, Hernandez, Hernandez Tebow, Tim Tebow, and another uh, another murderer. Wait, Tim Who Tebow is a murderer. No, 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 but Tim Holy Tebow shit. loves... I love that Tim Tebow got put into the left of murder. <laughs> You're like, Tim Tebow, Aaron has another murderer. What do you mean? I mean, Tim Tebow murdered the art of passing. He, mur- <laughs> he murdered the on-field prayer. I'm okay. That. Thank you guys so much for, 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 for <laughs> hey, you're stalling. Right. You're Appreciate right, Scott. Perfect. Okay. So there's a definitely a handful of ways I can go with this. I'm going to go kind of back to one partner that i think is the right pick i'm gonna go with chong fuck you fuck because because chong chong to me is the quintessential stoner of the two che- it, cheech dude. is the most memorable he's he's got the songs and whatever Ugh. but i swear to god if you haven't seen any of their movies chong his delivery his he's quintessential stoner He's, he's got so like a good. massive. Uh, he sells bongs. I so yeah. the Cheech is, Cheech is doing. He's smoking weed, but he's probably doing meth on the side. Cheech right. Chong is Chong just is straight, straight up stoned. Up so I, ripped and, and, out of his mind. Quick little, always. quick little side story. So I was a barista at Starbucks quite a few years ago, living in Southern California. I love how he says it introduces it as though we've never heard this. Yeah. When in fact, I love my, one of my favorite pastimes is to listen to Scott Beck barista stories. We, we, we might need we might need to create a bumper for that. Star. You were a, <laughs> Scott Beck barista stories. Yeah. You were a coffee mixologist. I have a few, um, but I so I was working the register, and this guy walks up, and he looks a little older, but I'm like, I think it's Chong. But it, it, like I said, I hadn't seen him in years. He hasn't done movies in a while, or at least movies I haven't seen. And I'm not exactly sure. And I don't want to just straight up think it's him. But I'm at the register. He's like, what? All Asians look the same? What's your name, sir? <laughs> so I got to, I, I, I asked his order. He, he gets a, a double cappuccino. And I say, can I have a name for the cup? Perfect, right? What does he say? He says, Tommy. Oh, no. 
And so I, I, I grab my pen. I start to write it. I go, Tommy Chong. <laughs> and he goes, yep. I go, I love your work, man. Oh, he goes, really? thanks, brother. <laughs> that was it. Oh, that's cool. That's a great Dude, story. You're a great, you're a great the lead, like, man. A, like worker with the public because most people would have been like, can I get you on my Instagram? Tom, Let me fucking take a picture. He didn't want to be, he didn't want to be fucked with. He's in no, lines. He wants his good, coffee dude. like everybody else. So I you know, just had a little fucking I interaction. That. I wanted to let him know that he knew. I knew who he was and that was it. I subscribed to the, the Scott Beck uh, school of interacting with celebrities. Yeah. I once hung with uh, Diana Ross on a plane, and it was a good time. That is a good I story. story I, I saw. Told, a I think you've told that before. I saw a picture of Have Diana Ross and Bruce I think that was very Spinks early in one of our yeah. pods. Go back and Long find time. that, guys. That's an Easter egg for you. Yeah. All right. Search so, all our pods. Just so, listen over and over again. If, if, it's on the almost, all, it's on the almost it, famous pod. Listen to it. Nate Nate meets Diana Ross. Oh, that's a good one. I've probably told all my stories. I'll tell them again. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> so. A hundred percent. All right. So are we still drafting? Yeah. yeah I was going to take Chong because I desperately wanted the Cheech and Chong sandwich. Um, and I'm, I'm really bummed. I had a, this, like you I already have kind both of, like, of them on your team. Yeah. I already kind of have this that vi- devalues visual. your team. A hundred percent doesn't because it's like, it, it really, it really, it's like, it's like the, like, the like fuck you to everybody else where I'm like, I got both of the best stoners and I got one of the first yeah. one of the fourth. But you did it, it, so suck it, Nick. All right, suck it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to continue. That that makes it easy here. I'm going to continue my trend, and I'm picking this for the movie. You're picking a stoner, not for the, not necessarily. In fact, fact, nobody cares about the movie. The movie or the just not, not necessarily for the actor. And I am going to take Kumar from Harold and Kumar. Go to lots of places. Why, why, why Kumar over Harold? So this is one where despite right Harold and Kumar being in the, uh, uh, the Harold being first, I think Kumar is a more like, I think he's a more dynamic character. He's just more interesting to me. He's a better actor that, that, you know, the actor's better. Uh, I think he looks, be- he, looks, like, like he looks, he looks better. More stone, like, like his eyes, something about his eyes. They he look more stoned stone better. And, and yeah. simply like if I was going to grab him, which he was definitely, if this was another round, he was, he'd be up on my list for sure. And Kumar would be the choice out of the two. But the scene where he sees the bag of weed and he goes into the whole flashback and and the weed is literally his wife. And they go through the whole scene where they're like courting and they end up fucking like getting married. And then at the very end, she's fucking bringing him a cup of coffee. He's pissed off because he's doing bills. He's like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. And like that that whole sequence... (laughs) But that, that was that was just a riff. Though, that, was, that was a riff on one of his other picks because Thurgood has the he has the conversation with the joint on the bridge in the very end, of, which is of amazing. Half baked yeah. and like he's having the conversation. So <laughs> all so Nate's like, guys she's not even looking. Talk he's to like, inanimate okay, okay, objects. No, since, no. since since Brad opened the door for self congratulatory uh, monologues, I just want to point out that like I I would make the, I could make the argument that I have the Mount Rushmore of stoner movies covered. Maybe Friday makes the argument, but. But you also in, instantly in, con- you instantly contradicted yourself because you're in, like Cheech was first, so you got to take I have, Cheech. I have right. a lot now, of problems. You know the you're right. That internal inconsistency Let's is probably going to lose the draft pick. for me. You're right. I right, have a Zach. lot of problems with your list. Wait, you're telling me that Up and Smoke, Pineapple Express, um, Half Baked, and Harold and Kumar pick one is not you is got not the Mount Rushmore. You got one of the two for the first movie. You got the wrong pick from Pineapple Express. You got what's the third one? Uh... Uh, Kumar, no, no. The f- actually, the oh, second one was half baked. Half baked, I think it's half baked. Right half baked. You got the right pick. You got the wrong pick from the from the from Pineapple the Seth Express. Rogen movie, and you got uh, you got Kumar, Kumar over Helen. Kumar, over and you got another one part of a pair of people. And and, and Harold I, Kumar, I have the best stoner from the four best. Harold movies. and Kumar, I do that not. That seems I like, do not like that movie. the wrong pick. I don't think it's a but good. That's movie. Okay. That seems like what they call in poker the nut, the absolute nuts. Harold and Kumar is not a good movie. Yeah, you're nuts. So moving on to you've got a lot of options here to, to don't and, and folks I just want to let you know you might be expecting us to talk about ulcerans after this but it's not going to happen because we're going to save those to talk with our judge yeah we decided that was better pod <laughs> and besides we've been gone for like an hour and we we're supposed to go for forty minutes yeah. so Zach make your picks I'm going pick. with my with my last pick as I like to do I like to throw the draft on the last pick and uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> So what I'm going to go with is he's uh, audible. And he's like, no, fuck this. We're a movie right now. Is a movie that I like, like in my core, like don't like. I don't like this movie. It makes me mad. But there is a character in it that is funny, and it's the only funny thing in the whole movie. 
and it is Cabin in the Woods. We are going with Marty. I can't believe you picked this. Fran Kranz. Dude, uh, I, I had this on my list and I, and and thinking, well, I it wasn't high enough for me to pick, but I go, there's no way Zach's going to grab it because he hates that fucking I, movie. I do not like that movie. But it's but a great fucking stoner. The stoner is great. He has a he has a coffee mug that he pulls up with and takes a drink of, and then he like telescopes the coffee mug out and puts a bowl piece in it, and it's a huge bong, and he rips it in his car <laughs> yeah. before he gets out of the car. And it's like the most cartoony, ridiculous fucking stoner thing, but and the best that thing comes is, back in later. It's yeah. like a callback, and it's fucking... It's, uh, it's a cheesy, dumb movie that I don't love, but I like that character, if, and it's funny. If you're not a huge horror movie fan, yes. then give cabin in the woods a, a chance if you want to kind of get into the halloween spirit or whatever cuz i think that's probably why i like it scott's right it's not scary yeah. it's a little cheesy but it's, it's but it's good it's good yeah. the writing's good if you like joss whedon and if you like chris you know, hemsworth and hemsworth's yes. in it the cast is really great and and that character marty Some beautiful is women great. Yeah. there's a funny stoner there's a beautiful yeah. man it's a good movie yeah Horrible pick, but great movie. Shit movie. Can I? Can we do a fifth round <laughs> so I can wrap? We, we, really I, I wish we could do a fifth round, but I will say this: I can't believe that we put our judge in that little room and we lit all that shit for him. Well, that's classic, right? Yeah. Got, he's a major stoner, and we're like, we're going to teach you a lesson. Like, we're going to smoke that, the entire pound. All that weed, every single strain I bought, we just put it into one giant bowl. It's like basically like a like a uh, like a big pot. It was like a fishbowl bong. Yeah. yeah. And it's just it's just lit up and he's just smoking. He's smoking Apocalypse Wow combined with Dr. Strain, but combined <laughs> with Ashton Kushner, combined with Rasta Lama Ding Dong. He's combined a- with this is the weed I smoke and now I don't. What is it called? <laughs> The world is a horrible place, and no one loves me. I love how proud how proud Zach is, or <laughs> Brad is of his fucking weed names. He had to have a callback. Oh, had to bring him. Of course, back. I'm bringing that shit back. <laughs> Everybody's fucking high Brad as fuck right ding now. Dong. Everybody forgot about that. That was like 30 minutes ago. I don't know. Hey, we'll be back with our judge in just a minute. But see you in a minute. California has the largest population in the United States, and the site of some of the most famous true crime cases in history. But there's more than meets the eye to the crime in California. Join Sean, Jessica, and Charles on the California True Crime Podcast as they cover crime both infamous and overlooked from around our state while looking at the deeper history that goes beyond beaches and movie stars. Oh, oh, there he comes. There's there pink. There he comes. That is <laughs> properly Mr. prepared pink. judge right there. I, 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 I'm, I'm mildly yeah. impressed the fact that, I mean, it took four strains to put that together because I, I don't think I've ever heard this guy cough when he inhales, but yeah. damn. Brad's so proud of his strains of weed that he I, made I'm up. See, but coughing, <laughs> coughing's T-shirt's good. coming soon. What's Co- up? Coughing's good for the capillary. It opens things up. It does. See, they I, always say that if you cough when you take a rip of marijuana, That's the you will get higher than you right. will. Otherwise, that's I that, that's just science. That. It's I think that's, it's science. <laughs> well, welcome to the pod, Pink. How you doing, dude? Pink is doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, yeah, I feel I feel like you you the the, the camel back the camel hump uh, strain really is coming through in your the eyes. camel hump. <laughs> is that the camel hump? Well, do we have a camel hump? Oh no, didn't it, was it a llama hump? What was the llama? There's a llama saddle. Are you talking about the, the Rasta llama ding dong? Yeah, the yeah. Rasta llama ding dong. <laughs> that's that's the camel hump strain. I yeah. like that. Yeah, the we camel got hump. it. Well, it, well, it, well you, originally it was the camel, but then they broke off. They they hybrid into the llama. We've no, got a you got, you got a little apocalypse now. It was, it was pretty tasty. <laughs> we've Doctor, got a Doctor Strange bud. Is we, that, oh, is that the, Brad's got to drop every I'll name. Say, Do the long one, Brad. And a, and a little Ashton Kusher. <laughs> third time he's. Uh, He's came up with his names. Everybody got that. My God, we'll, po- we'll post those names on the socials. Just so I'm Brad just trying to get us. To I'm trying to get us a new pod. sponsor, gentlemen. I'm trying to get us a new sponsor. Like, All right. we, we've got alcohol. We need a weed shop, and if they can give us some strains, wouldn't you guys be happy to have a strain named yeah. after us? All right, so I got a I got a question for Pink. Oh, so Pink, so you're Best somebody who danked him. So you're somebody who has <laughs> has partaken in some some your fair share of uh, allegedly of your fair share of the uh, the reefa. And in all honesty. In my younger days, my young, much younger days, mm-hmm. I never did. Really, I was a grown-up man before I started 
understanding. Oh, this is a great this is a great point yeah. because uh, I myself, I think only one time in high school did I partake in the uh, devil's lettuce. Yeah, oh. I, I'm I'm the same way. Like I, I honestly, I stayed away from it in high school. There was one time there. It's crazy because it's literally right down. I live next to the canal, but right down the canal bank, there's a party spot. Those called, party spots we were called the about box. Last week. Yeah, and okay. so I remember one time I pulled up. People are hanging out, and I'm I'm driving my brother's Mustang, and. I, yeah, my brother's in the background here. <laughs> so, and so I had somebody in the, in, in the, in the, you know, shooting shotgun. And whoever we were talking to, they had a, a joint. And I, I never wanted to touch the stuff ever. Did I you always, let them light up in your brother's car? So oh, they, this is the best story to, I've ever heard. Laid? Timmy, yeah. did you Look, know that? <laughs> so they passed it. Whoever was sitting with them, they took a puff and they passed it to me. And I didn't want to, but I also didn't want to not look cool, right? Right. So I put it to my mouth. I totally Clintoned it. Clintoned it. Oh, I did, you did not, not inhale. inhale. I put it in my mouth and I shit you not. The minute I put it in my mouth, I heard somebody fucking way back in the party go, Oh my God, Scott Beck smoking weed. <laughs> I swear to God. And I fucking freaked out. And I didn't touch the shit the, paranoia the gotcha. entire time yeah. in, t- in high school because I was like, dude, they oh thought my you God. were degenerate. They bro. thought I was a fucking pothead. Oh my and yeah. God. Uh, yeah. Hey, we got to understand too. I mean, <laughs> the world now is so, so different, different than well, it was. Yeah. Well, this was part of my question. It, 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 part, you know, so now in California, recreational marijuana is illegal. Brad talked about his tour to tour to weed all over for the dispensaries has weed gotten better since it got legalized oh Oh, gosh damn it will kill you i mean it won't kill you it will (laughs) it will knock your socks off compared to the 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 it literally will not kill you back in the day it It will not kill you but it will it will blow your mind up a lot harder than it ever did back in is that you you concur i I think, think i think that it will continue to get better and better and better as long as the best cultivators in the world have access to yeah. whatever without having to hide from anybody or do right. Anything. I mean, it also seems we're like going to find so many amazing uses for this for this plant. You know? It also seems like the edible market, right? Has changed. It's like one thing that's in, wasn't in days and confused at all, right? And that you could you could do edibles, right? It wasn't like right. the, well, you could bake brownies, brownies back in the yeah, exactly. Uh, or even if you had friends that didn't like to smoke and you just watched them cook a bud in butter and like saute it and then just chew on that and swallow so, it. So I've got I've got a good I've got a Jesus. Kind of, what I, kind I, of fucking <laughs> animals were you hanging out with? I've got an edible story. <laughs> People didn't like to smoke, but they wanted to get high. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, I just ate I, a, I a stick of butter. <laughs> I <I'm, laughs> legit saute. It just like I've got, that's fucking wild. I've got an edible story that I'm not sure if I should tell. No, you should. Shit. Okay, I'm going to tell it, but I reserve you, the yeah. right for you to so to edit. Okay. Yeah, so, so, so start I, a story not deliver. So, so I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, uh, I didn't. I didn't drink until I was 30, and and so I I didn't do any or do any drugs, right? And I, that story is one for a whole other day. But Wait, you remember when you were 28 and you did Tylenol? I did, and I was like, you were like, holy what? shit, what? my headache went away, <laughs> man. I think it's a whole new world. You know, I mean, hey, Tylenol. So, so, wow, yeah. if I take one of these and it makes my finger <laughs> oh, What if I took this? We don't even talk about the time I took NyQuil. So, um, <laughs> Here's the first Viagra experience. Was fucking <laughs> <laughs> so, so I decide sometime after 30, some years later, that I'm like, you know, I, I should. I, should I, 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 I had smoked weed once or twice that, by that time, and I was like, Eh, I like it, but I don't love it. But, you know, edibles, they seem like my, might be my jam, you know? Yeah. And I'm a pretty, like, I, w- I would say I'm not anal, but I'm type A. Like, I'm a, I'm a planner. I'm You're a guy, anal. I'm a guy that, like, <laughs> I might be anal. No, I, I, I'm a guy that, like, I, you know, I figure shit out. I make plans. I kind of, I'm pretty. You pre- literally make plans to make plans. I make plans to make plans. <laughs> I'm pretty precise. It's fucking I'm, wild. I'm, I'm pretty precise. So, <laughs> so that's what makes this story even stranger. Which is like, I hook, I contact my weed guy. This is just before it was legal. You didn't have a weed guy because this is the first time you're trying weed. No, he did. I he had did a weed a, guy. He had a weed guy. He, he had bro, a guy that was. Did you like, not listen? I have. I, I have. I make plans to make plans. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I contact my weed guy. He kept I'm calling like, this guy for like a year and being like, <laughs> canceling, but like, no, no, next week, next week. I'm th- I've never done it, but I think I'm going to do it. And I want you to be my weed guy. Uh, we committed. <laughs> so, so I, so I, I'm like, I want to do an edible, you know, can you hook me up? And this is before you could get edibles because there were no dispensaries. And so I was like, so he's like, yeah, I can make you some weed butter. And I was like, cool. Cause I was like, I want to make brownies. Like they, you know, this is what's in all the movies. So of course I'm going to totally brownie. Right. So he's like, okay, he's like, great. You know, so he, 
brings me this fucking mason jar full of green butter. <laughs> and and I'm like, that's fucking great. You know, this is perfect. So like this is where oddly I wasn't high yet, but the paths of my personality fully depart. <laughs> so you'd th- what would you think I would do? You would use you, appropriate amount of butter to make yeah, brownies. Yeah, you did a right. thousand hours well, of research. Right. You, yeah. I'd, read, I'd, I'd Google it. I would Reddit it. I would have yeah. fucking asked all my friends who were potheads. I would ask him, like, okay, so when I take this butter, how potent is it? How much should I put in? Nope, didn't do any of that. I grabbed a box of fucking brownie mix. <laughs> <laughs> and I substitute and, and I Googled exactly one thing. How much butter should you substitute for oil in brownies? And it was and like then I substituted the entire <laughs> amount of oil it told the entire amount of bu- weed butter in for the amount of oil. And okay. And that, that's not bad, but the problem is how much did you eat? Exactly. Okay. So now we're getting to the key part of the story. So now, so now, okay. So that's the weird, the first weird divergence. So I make brownies. I've got a pan of fucking pot brownies. You didn't think about, oh my gosh. And so now like, what would you think I would do? Eat all the try. brownies? You would, you would try. If no, I you know, you'd eat no, one. No, no, no. Here's exactly if what I know. Tried sweet a little bit, tooth and Nate I don't know Monroe. the story. He's going to try a little bit and say, this isn't working. I don't care. <laughs> he's going to end up yep. eating way too much uh, without the 90 minute timer. Okay, so I would do one of two things. I would either Google in extensively. <laughs> Per whatever, how much should I eat? Or I would have tried a little bit and then and then tried it. No, I knew those things. I was just like, how much should you eat a square? Right. How big a square? I don't know, a brownie square. So I cut fucking a brownie square that's the size of the normal brownie squares I would eat because I'm hungry and have a sweet tooth. So I, I cut like a large brownie and, square. And we'll and, preface all of this by saying that Nate has a sweet tooth. <laughs> yes. So like his, this his, his brownie tooth, chunks can be pretty solid. This tooth uh, is fucking sweet. I have a sweet tooth. So, <laughs> so I, you know, how, how long did you wait before you said this isn't? Fucking they were working. still. They were still <laughs> unbearably <laughs> hot out of the oven. They were. They were unbearably no, no. hot. So, so I, eat, I. So I know I let them cool. That's the only part of this that made me sense. <laughs> so I let them cool, and then how long did you? I, wait? So two seconds. I don't. It's early. Anything. It's like it's like five. It's like five thirty. So like I am, and I and I'm, <laughs> and, and and so you know I'm not alone. But I you know for privacy reasons I maybe won't divulge who I was with. But you feel alone. And so <laughs> I cook. You know I, I take this square and I have the person I'm with take a square who's also never done an edible. And we we then cook dinner and we eat dinner and, and it was really it's good. also never and done I get an like edible. an hour yeah who but but who knows who I am and so trusts me implicitly <laughs> and was like how much should I take and I was like oh it's I, I think a, a square, a square. <laughs> with no explanation so 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 we, we we both take a square and we cook dinner and like an hour and you know fifteen goes by and an hour and twenty we've eaten and I'm like. I don't feel anything. And and I'm like, do you feel anything? Nope. We didn't eat enough. So we didn't eat enough. So we go ahead and split another square. Eat the rest of what we made. So we eat another (laughs) half. So now we're sitting there about two hours in and all You're a square and a half in. So all of a sudden the person I'm with starts like really feeling it. And so we're like, we're laughing and we, we, you know, they start laughing and I start laughing and we're, and I'm, and I'm like, I'm not feeling it though. But like we start laughing so hard that both of us, at the same time are crying and laughing, but also are convinced that we're going to laugh so hard. We're going to suffocate ourselves and die, <laughs> which is the first of many times. And we were serious about it, which was the first of many times that this person that, that I was you with died. No, this person <laughs> I was with their reaction to, 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 to Edible. edibles or any kind of drug is always to laugh so hard that they think they're going to die of laughter <laughs> every time. Sounds okay. Like an awesome so, person. so I'm like, I'm, I'm like dialed in, right? Like I'm all of a sudden the sober one, this person's falling over on the couch. This person I'm, is obviously out of control. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, you know, I gotta, I gotta keep it together here, you know, and I'm not feeling it that hard. I didn't probably didn't have enough. Right. Um, and so I, I get this person you know, <laughs> together, you know, to bed and, and I'm like putting the house, you know, to, to, to bed and everything. And so then I go get in bed and I'm like, hey, you know, it was cool. And then all of a sudden it hits me and I was convinced that I was going to die. <laughs> hundred percent convinced oh and I'm God. able to articulate this over and over again. <laughs> I've eaten too much and I'm going to die. And I just keep saying it out loud over and over. <laughs> and the person that I'm with just rolls over and in their state says, just by patting me, this will pass. <laughs> this will pass. And I'm the just, right person with you. That's and I'm good. like, That's I'm still convinced. I mean, eventually we both fucking passed out, woke up the next day and we're in through the brandies in the trash. <laughs> 
And that's that's fucking hilarious because the the person that you're talking oh. about is Pink. No, I wish it was. <laughs> God, I wish it was. I, Mr. I, I Pink. Want, no. Mr. Pink. Two two additions to that is one. If you want to really hear somebody go through that, there is a great YouTube clip of a police officer who he yes. and his wife did. Uh, they ate a bunch like of wheat brownies, and he calls nine one one because he tells them, "I'm dying," and I'm dead. And he basically <laughs> explains how he's like dying. He's dead, and like his wife's dead, and they need to be rescued because they're dying. Well, and the great and quote is, "He goes, I'm dying, and I'm dying, and I'm dead." <laughs> it's, it's just check that out on YouTube because it's great, but. I will say if you if you know me and, and you guys and a lot of you all here do know me, it's like I can be kind of a contrarian sometimes. And Never. I was think, convinced I don't what? like Daisy Confused. I no no okay. <laughs> I was convinced in high school all my stoner friends are like, You guys are fucking bullshit. I was like, this shit doesn't really work. Da, 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 da. I, I just was like, like a bunch of hypnotists. I was like, this oh, is all that's a stupid. hilarious like, stance. You're to not take. really getting high. You just act all goofy. It's just a, an excuse to act goofy. So finally one time uh, it was uh, I think it was like right before my, my junior year. We we go out to my buddy's house out in out in an orchard and we decide it was there was gonna be a shooting stars that night. And oh we, shit. We we slept out on his, by next to his pool. We slept out on the on the, the pool side looking up at the stars and I smoked weed for the first time and I got high as fuck. Some people say you don't get high <laughs> the first time. I was yeah. laughing my ass off. I was like watching Ugh. these streaks go by in the sky and was just amazed. And it was the one of the, the greatest moments of my life. I was like, God damn, this drug is legit as fuck. I really thought it was a big, like... <laughs> you're like, you're a bunch of psychics. You guys are all just bullshitting. You're not it's really high. You're just like the... the you thought it was drinking. that big of a conspiracy? That I people were like... a dumbass kid. I was a sophomore in high school. <laughs> that's that's equal to your, I don't like Days of Confused take. I like that. <laughs> yeah, just, that's, 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 fucking that's how contrary awesome. I was like, you guys are bullshit. This isn't real. All the people that like Days Confused are fucking bullshit. They're, they don't even know what they like. <laughs> it's like Stone, these are... This is not real. You just it's just an excuse to act goofy. Uh, so and I got I got high off my balls. So 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 <laughs> pink pink. What's your favorite? What's your favorite high story? That the uh, like whoa. What's the what? Either the one either one that went the most wrong or the one that went the most right. Huh. That's a tough one because they almost always go super right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, I've never I've never had. A bad experience with marijuana. Really? Ever. ever. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. I've had tons of amazing experiences with marijuana. And I've seen what you've experienced with me while I was completely happy and fine. So it's just kind of, I think, certain, just like any drug, it is certain chemicals our bodies are designed and have receptors that that accept things better than others we have friends that don't get they get drunk but they don't get hangovers they get you know what i mean like so we all have these certain kind of um superpowers if you will when it comes to like trying out some new things and and trying to put your mind in a better place which is basically what uh, any drug i've ever tried including alcohol uh was for so um to me i can't really share <laughs> I mean, I could share tons of really great stories, but <laughs> but honestly, I don't know if any of... Well, okay, I'll share the first time I got high. Oh, that's, that's, that's the yes, best one, please. because at a certain point, when you when you, when you weed kind of permeates the culture, it's like yeah. every moment so, I was high, so it's like, it's not even like a thing. I, I, think I, was, I, I, I just got to say, why do people think that you don't get high the first time? Is that, I feel like that's a, oh, no, a, it giant, happened to me. a I think, giant fallacy. I, think that, I don't think so. I think that people that don't aren't used to smoking you don't know how to inhale yet. don't inhale it yeah. properly it's that's absolutely probably correct because yeah. i yeah. i took some, my, some fat bong grips and i was them. just <laughs> yeah like, like i was saying my first time i actually not did not smoke it but the first time i smoked it i got high as fuck yeah exactly so yeah it depends on on what you I, do. I didn't go in like a pussy that's what i'm just saying right <laughs> <laughs> that's that was the thesis the whole thing did okay. you cut that out <laughs> 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 Fuck yourself. <laughs> you, didn't go, you, didn't, you didn't go. You didn't go in like a, a pair of very gentle. I, balls. I, said, I know how to inhale some shit. Like I, I take a puff puff all the time. Okay. I suck my balls into my body before I get spanked. <laughs> Jesus, I don't go out like a pussy. <laughs> all right, get my fucking back balls fucking spanked by a wooden paddle like a bitch. <laughs> oh, all right, Jesus. All right, Pink. First time. Back first balls. Time. <laughs> Your back balls. Uh, that's gonna be a new word. You know, back balls. <laughs> Your paddle balls. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, no, the back balls. It's just, it's just gonna stay. I think it's gonna. They stay. get exposed. So, you know, so there's gonna be different ways to talk about your back balls. Like, I call for example, dibs if on that band name. If you, if you, <laughs> if you're like sunbathing naked, you know what I mean. Those you are burn back your back ball. You could burn your back balls. <laughs> yeah, it's, a reality it's actually show. a hard spot that, like, right the balls where they meet. Opening the paint. for flying blind, the back balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I want to be the Guinness record holder first time. of like being able to show my back balls like at the youngest age. For sure, dude. <laughs> first time. First time I was at college, I was in a dorm room where um, there were four dudes in that room, and they were studious, jockey, girlfriendy types, right? I was in that room. The room upstairs from us <laughs> was not that same way. They had a lot more fun than we did. Uh, there were two Arizona State Players of the Year up in that room, and they just partied, 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 partied. And they liked us. We all got along, you know. But but like like finally, like almost right before semester ended, they're like, "Dudes, come up, come up, and and do this with us." I'm like, okay, fine. And it was like walking into that party so at fucking Jack's there, house. No, it was just those four <laughs> dudes that lived in that dorm room, and these four dudes that lived in the room right downstairs from them. And we were all, you know, pretty much like junior in college age, sort of. So, so go up there and we start doing our thing <laughs> and we were smoking just off J's and, uh, but we smoke enough. And next thing you know, <laughs> there's these four dudes that never smoked before. And there's these other four dudes that smoke all the time <laughs> and they're laughing at all these four dudes because all four of us got super high. And in fact, one of my buddies... <laughs> Was on the ground. This is like a big studly linebacker type of guy, right? So he's on the ground and he's sitting there and he can't move his arms and his legs and he's laughing about it. <laughs> so, and, you know, to me, uh, so ultimately, I think the cool part of that story was the fact that, that there was these four dudes kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. pink uh, from the movie, you know, teaching young Wiley Wiggins, Wiley Wiggins. <laughs> <laughs> about uh, how to have a good time, how to relax, how to let your hair down, how to have fun, mm -hmm. how to open up. And so that was cool to me, man. And just watching my buddies who were really straight laced dudes um, just get wasted, man. It was it was super fun. <laughs> now, like I said, we got to understand the stigmas in the 90s were just totally different. Oh, yeah. 100%. You know, it, it was it was much harder to get. It was much harder to to think that you weren't going to be in huge trouble. Obviously, if well, you, got caught you had to it. know a guy back then yeah. who could get you the shit. Yeah. You know, it was like you couldn't go down the street to a dispensary and just yeah. walk in and get weed. I had a guy back oh, in the nineties yeah. and stuff, but I didn't use him for ten or twelve years. And dumped me. <laughs> Tom, Tom Segura. Tom Segura has a great a great stand up line where he's talking about. He's like, we used to get in strangers' cars to buy this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 not literally not to be too much of an uh, advocate even though i don't use my real name but I, i've seen documentaries and you've probably all seen this documentary where there's a woman with ms and she drives into an alley and some dude ducks out of a, a dark corner and she's a mom and basically all she was trying to do before it was legalized for uh, medicinal all she's trying to do is get this because she can't eat but what she and then right. next thing you know she goes and she goes what i was really trying to say is that this happens yeah. when i do this and that I, I i think it's terrible that i can't go get my medicine i can't take care of my kids i can't you know so the point is the hypocrisy behind all of it and this you know days and confusion just bring it back is such a, a marijuana based uh, like in the 70s i don't know man but where were they getting that stuff in texas you know what i mean because they all had it we're, so, we're close to federal like uh, federal legalization i think it happens in the next five years i think i think that's all, i think it's a really optimistic i i think it's optimistic That'd because be right. whatever but the, the look at the revenue that's being generated i mean it's a big business and the, ultimately our government can't resist yeah eventually too much too much of that green too much cake talking about the green and green i am talking about green the, for green so the sticky so <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Way, to, way to lead the episode. Anyways, I forgot I was the fucking one that was leading the episode. How many so, how many J's have you smoked? So so we're gonna move on to the next uh part of the episode, which is gonna be <laughs> us getting judged by Mr. Pink. So I think I have a fucking just like a ridiculous hold on this uh on this draft right now. I think my team is dominant 
and uh, a bunch of you guys are weird and kind of pick some weird picks. So, uh, Mr. Pink, Wait, tell wait, us, wait. tell us about. Hey, hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, you're, you're jumping you're, you're, the gun, bro. How am I jumping the gun? Be- Jesus Christ, we've gone 48 because- minutes. <laughs> we haven't even started the judging process. That- <laughs> we, we're, we're about to start the judging process. So, how about we talk about getting a? Uh, you know, how, we- I, th- I think we have a little song about getting judged. Metrics, YouTube assist. Gonna point out all the shit that we missed. It's the draft judge crushing dreams once again. Damn, that shit's fucking beautiful. <laughs> yeah, dude. That is magic. I forgot about that. <laughs> I like sung that. Is it our draft host? Oh, it's me. It's our draft host. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, all credit. Up that, again. Was, that was actually quite quite lovely. All credit goes to Scotch Beck. Anyways, Mr. Pink, you're going to judge us on these drafts. We're going all stoners from all the movies of all time. And uh, what 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 kind of categories or metrics or anything did you come up with? To come, to judge us. Well, I did this in a Nate eating brownies for the first time <laughs> method, and I didn't feel that anything scientific was needed yeah. To, yeah. Uh, for something like a square. This. Well, you, you, you uh, know, how, how, how do you, you just, know? You know. How do you, how do you define I, a stoner? Like, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's a, a good, question. really good question. First of all, we're implying a lot about everyone on this list. Well, not everyone on this list. Some people stand out. Yes, absolutely. Others. Self-proclaim, maybe you know. Others maybe don't know they are, but they act maybe like. But they one. act like one yeah. for yes. sure. Agreed. So and and then also something that we we discussed earlier was we split up some some teams, so some that you might some, think some okay very I'll, legendary I'll, I'll partnerships. I'll be straight right? up. I think I was waiting for a team. If somebody could have pulled it off. For maybe like each of the four friends from Half Baked or something oh, like that. Yeah. That would have been a, a that's badass a, that's team. That's a whole kind of team of team in itself. all four. Uh, now, of them? I don't know if that could be S- somebody the, the team almost that you guys Brian, almost. Scarface, Kenny, and, and the dog. So, somebody almost dog. grabbed dog. <laughs> two of a pair, but then that didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, and you know that's the other thing is is can you know you split up Cheech and Chong? You know what I mean? It's like that's two but, stoners for sure. But we had that discussion so, early on. We're like, do we draft them as a pair? Or do we split them up? And and I actually made the argument, and we decided to go with let's split them up because this, this guy stood up. Strategy. This guy stood up and gave a speech, and I was yeah. in tears at the end. I was like, you know, what? I'm changing my vote, yeah. Scotch. Yeah. You know, isn't that how it went down? Uh, Pretty much. You, li- you literally cry at all th- at I, everything. I also think Cheech and Chong, as much as we all recognize them together, brought two totally different things to those movies. You know, so yeah. they, they, oh, they, I can't wait to gosh, hear how you that's thought that so, went. So clever on who, which way he's going to go. <laughs> Well, you know, the, the, the problem is, is it's hard. You, you, yeah. you, you go through a list like this and you realize you, you look at names that you um, didn't remember, maybe didn't think about. And then so and, you know, when that when your memory gets kind of tripped and and uh, <laughs> you start thinking, oh, you know what? Yeah, that character was freaking hilarious or whatever. Um, that was fun. It was fun to look at him. So without further ado, we've got four teams and. Uh... Now, do we have do we have any point scores? Is there is there any points involved? I, in this? I have not. I didn't point anything I like out, that. Brad. Okay, I, well, I thought right. about it. That, I thought about that it. Is all right. it. You know, but like I said, that would be too much science for me. Hey, and uh, I, t- I and I told I already, him I, I when I asked him to come on, I, I said, "Look, bro, do your thing. <laughs> you don't have to do like anything's been done before. Whatever your gut instinct is." Throw it down. I think that works. Or not. Well, what I did do I is this. I, I did see, I did notice that there's a few things I think that we missed. Okay. We're, so, we, we will, let, let's get into those. We like after, after we hear the scores. Oh, you want to hear that? that we're okay. we'll talk about the missed. scores and then we no, will I talk about all, I love the, it. all the missed. Ones. So, I love it. so if you didn't do points like a number, then let's just say who got fourth. All right. So we're going to start with fourth place, Mr. Pink. Who do this we got? This is damn hard. Damn hard, fellas. These were all good teams, and all for different reasons, I feel like. I definitely agree. I'm looking at all of them right now, and these are all really good yeah, good teams. That's cool so, that you guys can see the so, teams. I have so, none of them. So, Other than, te- than Zach's team. <laughs> One of my top two stoners was the first draft pick in my fourth place team. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Which was team number one. 
Oh, team number one included the dude from the Big Lebowski, okay. Slater from Days and Confused, Larry Dar- it's, it's, Doc Sportello like, from I, Inherent Vitus, and Marty from Cabin in the Woods. How, how do you do it? He's <laughs> never seen Cabin in the Woods, okay. and he's never seen okay. fucking Inherent Vitus. I've Vitus. never seen Cabin in the Woods, although there was a Hemsworth brother in that. Yes, yes. it was. And it was the main, the fucking Chris, so bro. So what I was assuming the is... The Hemsworth brother. Mar- the, the Hemsworth brother? Better than Liam? Are, than you the other fucking, are we serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Thor? Thor? <laughs> Thor? You can't argue with Thor. You're right. Okay, Marty. The, what I saw when I, I did watch a clip on Marty because I haven't seen Cabin in the Woods. I, no I quit watching. I quit watching horror when I was 19. <laughs> Out of boy. Okay. If, if so, you're if you're gonna watch a horror movie, that's a good one to watch. Yeah. No, I'm sure it's probably it's excellent. Great. It's I'm not. Sure it's, it's a no. shit movie. I'm to sure. Be it's, I'm sure it's probably. I said good it from the beginning. It it's a terrible movie. But I don't like my it. My take on it was but Marty. The character is great because of the Chris Hemsworth character. Marty, I've seen him on the street. He's actually a super handsome dude, but next to Hemsworth, <laughs> he looks like comic yeah, relief. It's tough. So no, and I think he was great. I, I did watch some clips on him, and I think I would like him very much. However, cliche, Cabin in the Woods, Marty. That's and, the whole, and, entire and here's point. What of I'm the also going to say, after reading about Larry Doc Sportello, it made me really feel like I should have seen the movie you, Inherent you really Vice should've. because I love Joaquin Phoenix. Jesus Christ, he was a freak, freak. Crazy. I'll, t- I'll take my last place gladly stoner, since he's you know. never seen the movie. But so, so my point is, if I had seen that, it it might it, it might have changed what I did. It's not I, that, I, it's I not say, that Zach, good. I think a, either a week ago or a couple of weeks ago, you described Larry Doc Sportello as a version of the dude. It's so the dude. you essentially right. took two of the same characters. So, so agreed. You kind of said this earlier. So the dude. Is your one of one like if you had Man, first pick in the draft? Mine. That's that I, I, he picked I, I correctly. Would, I would, I would, it would have been between him and one other character to me. Okay, oh, I'm and, curious and, who that was. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll let you know. but, but, but you have no issue with him. He, he, no, he nailed the, it on the, the first pick, dude. So I got Jeff last Bridges place. is <laughs> is the greatest, like maybe, yeah. maybe the greatest actor there ever was. Yeah. The dude is one of not only the greatest stoners, but maybe in my opinion, one of the greatest overall characters there totally in movies. Ever. In, in movies I will ever. not argue, and and yeah, and a I love that movie, uh, for you know probably because I like to smoke and watch it too, but uh, <laughs> but um, but every character within that movie around it and the whole right. just the whole even right down to the way the movie's shot, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like so anyway, the dude is. Super strong, and it's really hard for me to put anything with a dude in last place. Yeah, but you, but you but, can do it. But I did because <laughs> I, I want to ask you: How do you, only, feel, how do you feel about Slater? It's like, well, I do like Slater because Slater talked truths, man. So Slater understood that that our forefathers, yeah. you know, I mean, for real, we're bro. into this shit. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Okay. So, yeah, he, so he, the, he does she was a fun cool conversation. Hip, so, a hip. hip Hip, 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 lady, lady. hip lady. Um, So, so George Washington would would separate seeds for potency, like to grow. They called it hemp, you know, whatever. But like, uh-huh. he was he a realized scientist it would about be a it. Big you know, he knew cash crop, and, and he did. So, what I'm saying is, Slater was right. In 1994, we, it was still so vilified in our minds that we just think it's this guy that's just talking. Yeah. And then you start reading about it yourself and find out that Queen Elizabeth used it for pain and. And you know, you're like, Herodotus. Great, great you know, job, was, last you know, place, like, bro. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> what I will say is, I do like the idea that that you tried to go off the list a little bit. You know what I mean? But you only like it for place. Do, but, well. but hey, like I said, I'm off the list, huh? Uh, like you know, if you lose a pro football game, you're still a pro. You know what I mean? Like like yeah. I'm not I'm not trying. You're to like Geno anybody. Smith. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the top sixteen stoners in movies. I mean, you're still picking some badass stoners. Yeah, no, yeah. They, these are these are all great choices. Have, have some grenadine. You did a great job, all Zach, right. and we really want you to feel yeah. good. Third about place. You. We love you guys you enjoy okay. the rest okay. of the podcast. Third, third, third place. place. Third place. Okay, again, very good choices. Not my fave compared to the last two uh, lists. To me, the top two were stood out to me more. They were harder for me to choose between. Um, this is like, to me, three and four were close in a way because of certain things. Okay. Number one, Wait, which, which if you're going to be oh, number, sorry. sorry, team two, 
third place. Third Fuck! Place. Come on. Team okay. two includes if Cheech gonna pick, from Cheech and Chong. Oh, 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 let me read the team real quick. Cheech from Cheech and Chong, Thurgood Jenkins from Half Baked, yeah. Dale from Pine- Pineapple Express, and Kumar from Harold and Kumar. Okay. Other, otherwise known as the Mount Rushmore of weed picks. Yeah. <laughs> he did. Self proclaimed. Cheech, Cheech is amazing. It, it's a it's a phenomenal. Are pick. you a Cheech we, we over Chong? Chong. I'm a Cheech, Cheech, Cheech over Chong. Or, okay. okay, I'm a Thank Cheech you. over Chong. I agree. However, I still can't believe Chong fell. Tommy Chong fell to the fourth round. Right. Um, just because, just because, watch the movies. Right. You know I mean? like, <laughs> like, like, just because Cheech and Chong's next movie. Just because Up in Smoke. You know what I mean? Like, I don't okay. know. That stuff's so Thurgood was Thurgood, Thurgood the right choice okay. from Half Baked. I think Thurgood is the right choice. Yes. However, it's difficult because you could have picked the dude on the couch. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, I and, thought about and, the dude and, on the couch, damn and it. You could have picked the dude on the couch and, and like that that would have been maybe a little more rare pick. Right. And Thurgood is trying not to be a stoner, although he's a self proclaimed and you know, and in mm. the end of the movie is not a stoner. I, I suggested Willie Nelson from Half Bay. I honestly <laughs> thought about that on the way over here, Brad. Because Willie, like, okay, if you if you can pick Floyd from True Romance, why can't you pick Willie from Small uh, parts, yeah, small, yeah, small parts, parts with, a, yeah. with a big memorable, punch. memorable, memorable. <laughs> I remember so, when dime bag used to cost a dime. <laughs> so here, here's the, the 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 question that I think blew his team, in my opinion. Seth Rogen from Pineapple Express, he picked the wrong guy from Pineapple. I I, I would a hundred percent agree with that. Uh, I fucking because, hate because I hate he Frank hates Franco. Because, okay. I just don't like him. I, I he annoys me on the screen hey, and everything. And, he's and in, that's and that's totally. Him. I totally. And get I like it. Seth Rogen. I think probably. It, it, and it's not that I dislike Seth Rogen, but it's. I think I probably like Franco better. And I, I, also and like I, the, I would say there's better Seth Rogen stoner roles. What's the yeah uh, Seth Rogen stoner role where? Well, knocked up. He's a stoner. Zach and Mary. He's Fuck, a stoner. Zach and Mary. He's a stoner. Uh, he's pretty much a stoner. Fuck it. About this is the end. He's a stoner. <laughs> In real life, he's a stoner. In real life, yeah. um, so, okay. So, I, 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 I like Saul. I like the style of stoner. He is not necessarily that he sells it, yeah. but Dale, he's kind of angry. He's kind of like you know wants to call up and and talk about you know. Politics on the radio, and do, he's that kind of stoner. His girlfriend's still in high school. <laughs> his girlfriend's still, which is weird. <laughs> and is Amber Heard, by the way, which is even weirder now. Right, right. Um, but Saul kicks back at his place. Dudes come by. He watches documentaries about architects and things like that. And he's knowledgeable I mean, that's, as that's, fuck that's, about the that weed. That's, that's, stoner, bro. that's more my speed, right? So I would have chose and it was he was in my missing pieces actually. Right. Um I would have chose him. I would have I would have put him on my list or someone else should have put them on their list. And, and my thing in, is in like my opinion. I can think of, I literally can think of a couple lines from him from that movie lingering. They're lingerers. You know like that line and then also if you take this weed and this weed and they Fucked. <laughs> you get it? Okay, so anybody, that's they, Franco. They, anybody that can get into their 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 explanations of each of the strains and just like they have such details yeah, and yeah. like what bring the, you into it. You came up with some strains earlier, I think. What were they? <laughs> Fuck the you. Okay. I can't remember the names. I haven't heard them forty two times. <laughs> Rewind about twenty three <laughs> minutes and you're good to go. Uh, and then uh, Kumar, I love Kumar. And and actually, do you, there, there's something else I talked about. Do you love Kumar? I do, but not as much as some others, Zach. Okay, thank you. Um. <laughs> but I do like the diversity of Kumar. Okay, if we, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm giving away all my 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 uh, talk later. But I'm gonna say it now. There's a few anything outside white dudes on this list. There's yeah. only a couple. We we brought For example, no, we brought no ladies in this. Situation. No ladies. There's not a woman. There, where's the diversity, fellas? Where's well, the diversity well, in this well, movie? In the all surrounds, I'm gonna shame myself for missing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will also say that. What that implies to me is that the stereotype painted in movies that what it's okay to say this guy's a stoner is a white dude, right? Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you know, you have a couple black guys on the list. You have a couple Mexican guys on the well. Ch- Tommy Chong's not Mexican, so you have one Mexican guy on the list, right? So, but I guess I, I guess I showed my, you know, my intelligence. Um, but to me, that's what it tells me. It says that okay, if you're gonna paint a stereotypical white guy in a movie. 
or paint a stereotype of stoner in a movie, it's going to be a white guy. So tell me your all-star team that won first place of well, all hold, white hold, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I want to ask one question. But my claim was that, and a lot of my picks were driven by the fact that I think that those four films are the Mount Rushmore of pot films. So pick your favorite Cheech and Chong movie, Pineapple Express, uh, um, Half Baked, Half Baked. If it, if it was the most and, memorable and Harold weed Kumar. movies, you would have won. I'm just saying, how yeah. is it that the most memorable weed movies don't have the most memorable stoners? Well, hey, because pick the right the fucking works. characters, bro. So not, characters, not to be it's uh, obviously the dog and Chong, bro. <laughs> well, the devil's advocate dude, the would dog say half-baked. that Zach had. <laughs> The dude, the big about no kill a kill, and he had days and confused in his list, right. which are probably two bigger, better movies. And Thank you. And how many, but, but not like how, quintessential how many, stoner movies. What I'm saying is, how many faces are on Mount Rushmore? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys so, uh, so suck. Kumar, I'm going to go away from my drink. I, I like it. Harold and Kumar, but it, it didn't. Uh, I wouldn't put Harold and Kumar on my Mount Rushmore. Yo, yo, Pink, we've talked about. Third and fourth place, I think a little too. You much. ready for number I, two? I think we're ready to go second place to also announce the first place. But we'll talk about. We're gonna stick with. We're gonna stick number two. Didn't we just talk about second place for like twenty minutes? We've talked about third place for twenty minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, so my third place, and this is tough. No, second place. Your my second, second place. place. Sorry. My second place, and this was tough. <laughs> Team four. Team four in second place is Smokey from Friday. Floyd from True Romance, Jay from the Kevin Smith movies, and Carl Spackler from Caddyshack. Okay. You lost it with Caddyshack. All of these are rough, okay? None of them He smoke knows weed. I love Caddyshack. <laughs> but I don't think of Carl Spackler as a stoner. As he doesn't much smoke as weed. Well, he, he, he grows, grows up he grows the grass. <laughs> he, he, grows, up he cuts fucking grass at a golf course. Afternoon, <laughs> takes it home, gets stoned to the bejesus. <laughs> I knew you'd love that pick at four. I love it. Sure. I love it at four. I, I know I he's not the four. traditional stoner, but he's, god damn, he's a stoner. But let me tell you what, Smokey and Friday, to me, <sighs> if Chris Tucker could have just been like, that well, I don't know, because then he probably would have been more like Will Ferrell. But he held out for next Friday. Dude, and didn't let me tell that. you what, Smokey was an amazing character, and no one could have played it as well as Chris Tucker. Not nobody. Morgan Freeman, <laughs> who is a stoner, who is a stoner, by the way. Morgan Freeman, who does love his weed. Never before has fucking Chris Tucker and Morgan Freeman been <laughs> mentioned in the same fucking I just, sentence. I, I, I want the SNL let, episode. Let alone that episode. Morgan Freeman took second place Doesn't in make the sense. I want the SNL episode I where Morgan Freeman and Chris fuck. Tucker are both this auditioning for Smokey. This is my 57 year old friend. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's like... Uh, you could do it like you, like you, red. Got, you could do like a voiceover okay. like, like Red from, from Shawshank Redemption. Right. I don't give a fuck. Something you like that. Got okay, no Floyd. Job. We talked about Floyd from True Romance. Uh, so good. He went. They were here, and then they went <laughs> there. <laughs> I mean, Pitt. You know, Pitt is smoking, and and that was a great character. Was that was that? I I, I called it my favorite characterization of an actual stoner in any film I've ever seen. It was fantastic. He did an awesome job. I I wish I believed he was stoned at the time, but I don't think he was. <laughs> so. Jay, man, that guy's a fast talking stoner, dude. I mean, that's a that's a great character. And Carl, we already talked about, you know, it's tough. That was a tough. Those were four great picks. Again, these are all 16 great picks. So are we saying first and second? It was pretty damn close. It was very close. It was very close. But who was better than the second? <laughs> <laughs> the first was actually better than the second, which was team three. All right. Team uh, three included Jeff Spicoli from Fast Times. Kunu from For Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Wooderson, Days and Confused. I have so many and problems with Chong this list. Chong from Cheech and Chong. Okay, let's talk about your problems, Zach. I'd like to hear about them. Yeah. So my problems with this list are several of the characters on his list never smoke weed in the movie. Who Which gives a fuck? Is one. And actually, do they actually ever show Spicoli sp actually well they show burning? him popping out he of a van. He fucking comes out of a van full oh, of smoke. Because smoke. Smoke. Right. Yeah. he actually smoke Doesn't weed. Count. Does he actually smoke weed? You Kunu, never, they definitely never show smoking You never weed. see Kunu smoking weed. Wooderson, they show all the time. Wooderson, they show on the football field. I'm pretty no, sure that's the only scene. Multiple, times he, he he multiple times he has a joint in his And plus hand. he also says, you got a joint on you. So You know what I mean? That's like, a go, great line yeah. in the movie. Yeah, I agree. If you did. Who's yeah. his last pick? Okay, so. Chong. He Chong. Never, Chong. Tommy Chong. He never, Chong has, definitely he never smokes anything. 
Um, so Spicoli, to me, that's with the dude at the very top of the list. <laughs> to me, every stoner, every stereotype of a stoner is built off of that character um, ever since Fast Times in 1981 or whatever that was. Yeah. Um, every, every, even, even the dude is somewhat built off Jeff Spicoli. The fact that I got him at three fucking blew my mind. Well, the, the, the I would have, I would have. You know, but the look at the top four. I mean, Cheech is look at the top four. Yeah. The dude, I think Cheech, the dude, Spicoli, Spicoli, Spicoli and Smokey. Bridges and Smokey. Yeah. Bridges, had, are, Bridges for, had already for, been the dude for like fucking fifteen that, and, years Matt, before the this Mount movie Rushmore. even came out. You know Matt, awesome? Is that the Mount Rushmore right there? That's that, the fucking. That's Mount the Rushmore. Mount Rushmore right there. Right. You guys picked the four best yep. in the first four spots. And Zach, oh, what was your comment? So, right there? so it's not Nate's team. I'm it was just the saying, top four. I think yeah. Bridges was already <laughs> the Spicoli uh, character Stoners. in real life. Uh, uh, Bridges, ten years before I don't know the movie guys, came out. I feel like I I have used this before, but I read that Bridges most of his most of the wardrobe that he wore in the film was his own. Yeah, that's he fucking it from amazing. His own closet. He finally yeah. got to play himself in a role. And he, <laughs> he just said, "Fuck it, all right, let's do this." <laughs> yeah, dude, that was it. Was it was you know, is all he had to do is act naturally, but. Um, so, Kunu, that was a bad pick. It's an amazing, <laughs> amazing character, it's, it, but it's not a good okay. stoner. You're, he, He's I can so see where Zach's coming from. That being said, I like that dude's outlook, man. <laughs> 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 maybe he got me on the right day. You know, maybe I, maybe life's fucking hard. You know what I mean? And then Kunu just makes you forget. You know, just helps yeah. you forget. You just go out there on that board <laughs> and just do it. You know what I mean? And like, to me, maybe maybe today. And who knew, Paul who knew Rudd was is first so place endearing. Pick. He's so endearing. He and literally Paul says, so difficult. you know what can fix that? Weed. <laughs> Got any? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of, that, that reminds me of Roy Munson where he goes, no, I don't drink anymore. I don't do that. Why? You buying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Wooderson, clearly, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I disagree with this statement. Of course, I'm not 25 or whatever Wooderson was supposed to be, but, probably spoke the greatest line almost ever in any movie yeah which like i said i i have daughters i have totally disagree with it but <laughs> i can't disagree with the with the, how amazing the line is i get older they stay the same age <laughs> yeah and, and you know and multiple times you know definitely uh Shows that he uh, enjoys the weed. And and folks, if you didn't listen to last week's episode about Days and Confused, we had some you might want to go back outtakes. and hear those outtakes that we heard because those outtakes uh, were a little. Uh -huh. I, I think they might have gone with the right one. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a good and line. Then, and then the fourth pick in that list was was Tommy Chong. The I man, mean, what Tommy he Chong. is. He, there's not a bigger name in marijuana than Tommy Chong. Dave's not here, man. <laughs> Dude, Chong, he fuck it. Thing is, if he wasn't as high as fuck doing that, he was the best actor on the planet because he acts so high <laughs> in everything he does. If you I, haven't watched any Ch Cheech and Chong movies, please watch some. I and think I, I, I mentioned some on my on my uh, um, streaming recommendations, and yeah, please revisit that. <laughs> Are are we done celebrating uh, that phony? Uh, no, we're not. So so who won again? <laughs> I'm I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Who, I'm not who, sure. I'm not who sure who won, won, but it was team three. Is that two in a row for Is you, that, Scott? I think that's two in a row. I'm it's not cool. how, sure. How, how many how many do you, would it take to be in first place? I don't know, oh, but my percentage is pretty scotch. I, I will say my whole spreadsheet, it broke. Like I can't actually do any yeah, of the functions. It's... So yeah, there's no stats. Can't do that. Yeah. Anymore. I think you have way less wins than any of us. So that's okay. Yeah. That, that, that's all we need to know. <laughs> but okay. I'm creeping Great. motherfuckers. I've no, only been I, you know what? For a little Just while. for you scotch. I'm going to do some saber metrics and, and next time we're drafting, I'm going to let, I'm going to update some of our numbers. You know what? How about if we just get on to the all Yeah. How the fuck could we miss that one? I just don't understand. Why Why is somebody calling us idiots at the end of that song? Well, that's my brother. Scott's brother. He's an asshole. And no matter what we pick, he fucking, so, so, somebody's an idiot. I, right? We've said this before, and I'm. it bears repeating. My favorite part of any re release week, uh, draft release week, is the day or two later when we get a text message with a photo of a lined <laughs> piece of paper with our teams on it and scribbles all over it. Blew it again. Idiot. He, 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 for the first like four or five, it would be like, you know, just a lot of idiots around the page. And he just 
simplified it and he underlined at the top of the page is idiot draft <laughs> we, it is for him it's the idiot draft because he wins every draft oh, it's on his yes. own which is amazing it, he gets the uh the special like ability of going after everyone else is gone <laughs> Just but he, he picks his own picks and usually yep. he, he has some solid ones so. he's kind of like the yankees or the dodgers <laughs> yeah. yeah we'll say that's uh, uh, that, that checks out um yeah so that's so, yeah. that's tim so what what uh, what also what did we it. miss, Matt? Yeah. Well, like I right, said, well, I kind of already spoke into that because it fits so well into uh, the discussion we were having. Um, first of all, is there is, what, so, what's your number one pick that we did not choose? That you're like, how did y'all miss that? As, as, I'm sorry, uh, aside from Pineapple Express, my but that actually really was my one. Okay, and then I also would have wanted you to go back to some maybe more classic stoner movies like. Like get like a George Hansen, like a Nicholson from uh, Easy Rider or something yeah. like that, you know. Yeah. Um, but you know, I I don't know that he's a more of a stoner because he kind of starts smoking in that right. movie versus like being like an right. absolute stoner. Or you could have gone with um, I don't know what Peter Fonda's character's name was off the top of my head, but um, but anyway, the the implication and that that kind of was a groundbreaking kind of stoner right. movie, you right. know. Right. So I don't know if that's a miss. Or if that's just something that could have been kind of thrown out there. So, ba- so we talked about half baked and thoroughgood. Where does Brian, who is um, uh, Brewer I, Jim Brewer Jim, Jim Brewer, Brewer so, fucking so where does Jim <laughs> yeah where does Jim Brewer land? Because he's like I'm gonna get, get some. Bunions and some. He like, has he, some great moments, but it's so over the top. I think right. it's just almost is he too much? Too over the top. Which Agreed, is why I didn't Brad. draft him. Thank you, Jeremy but, but yeah, the, the Funyuns man line is one of my favorite lines, maybe ever, from any Estonia. He's just and some Bunions. Bunions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so perfect, like the way he ends that sentence. But, but they, they the had rest been of that it just back in the day. You know what I mean? Oh man, he he does have just. I think he's just a little too over the top. So I I am a, a I've mentioned this before. I listen to audiobooks all the time, and Jim Brewer's audiobook. He has an amazing story. I'm not going to go into it now because why would I tell his story? He talks about Chappelle, and and he, and Chappelle gets a dog, and and he's in the hotel room with this little dog, and it's shitting all over the place. It's an amazing fucking story, and it's really good. Listen, if you love audiobooks, Jim Brewer's audiobook is Jim Brewer really dog good. shit story. Dog That's shit what story. we should look so up. All right, <laughs> so great. Chappelle dog shit I'm story. In. Yeah. So, so, so I've got a couple that I feel one, one that I feel kind of like irritated with myself for not taking or thinking harder about taking, and that's Charlene Yi, who plays Jody in uh, oh, yeah. Knocked Up. We and mentioned the that there's no females on our list, which yeah. is stupid but maybe just a reflection of the fact that many females are smarter than <laughs> well we're mis- misogynistic as fuck well yeah, I, I i and and i i battled with my misogyny i said fuck it i'm going full misogynist because i did not take one of my favorite stoners melly ralston from jackie brown yeah yep. bridget fauna is just a badass little stoner she is and, and that's the that to me is the the the, the one that f- the female that stood out yeah i think that's the that's the maybe the top that. female stoner but, um, so, but again, so, so Jody knocked up for me. And then the other one that I wanted to w- w- think a little bit about, it's a really small part, but it's great. And I don't know it's if it's perfect. Even, no, Jeffrey, he, the actor is Jeffrey Arend. Yeah. And I don't remember what his, I don't even know if we know what his character name is. It's, it's college boy. Number three schnozberries taste like schnoz, but the, actually troopers. the best line in the whole, the whole, I don't even know if he utters it, but. He's pulled over. He can't pull over any further. I think he that's actually the other guy. Super Troopers? It wasn't him. It yeah, wasn't so him, yeah. That whole sequence from Super Troopers so funny, is amazing. And he's, the, he's the one in the back seat who and he, he eats does, all he, the weed. Does he eat the, is it weed or is it mushrooms? They, they made both. The mushrooms too. It's yeah. both. Yeah, okay. It's both. Because cause then one of the, the blonde kid says, yeah. I'm gonna need that that 85 bucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so great, but he like it's such a like hot out of the gate scene he's for, so good. for a great movie, and and yep. he's great in it. Like he has the perfect look, he plays it right. So and you definitely saw that kid in, show up in a lot of stuff after. Yeah, that. he's a he's yeah. a good yeah. character actor, but that one's like for me his gold his golden. That, role. that is yeah. a, that is a, me- a memorable stoner line for sure. Like yeah. the, the Schnauzberries. Like my wife says that all the time randomly, just like. Because right. you know that, you know we're not even from, big fans uh, of that movie. You know that's from Willy Wonka, right? Right. Yeah, <laughs> the Schnozbers, but the sh- is it the Schnozbers taste like Schnozbers is from Willy Wonka? Yeah. Yes. When they Literally. look at the wall. No, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love he takes this great story that you that. <laughs> from Willy Wonka. Never so, mind. I hate so it. Willy Wonka, was Willy Wonka a musical? <laughs> so, here's they the, speak dialogue? No, they legit do start singing like in multiple times. A so couple it's, times, yeah. yeah. Yeah, fucking Oompa Loompa Doobity Doo, bro. I'm the out. grandpa starts singing. Like, like everybody's like, no I got a golden dick. The grandpa's a I, piece I take of it all, shit. I take it all back. Their imagination. For, forget it. <laughs> they win the fucking lottery. The grandpa all of a sudden jumps out of bed. Yeah, it's like, oh, I get to go to the candy factory now? Fuck this. Sit the fuck down, grandpa. It was, like, it was like a musical that couldn't decide if it was going to be a musical or not. Right, Zach, come uh, on, you got, you've got your. What, what are your also ends? I've got, I've got Ben Stone from Knocked Up. His name's literally Ben Stone. Uh, Damn, great I point. I don't believe anybody picked that. He's so stoned that him and his friends don't realize that the website Mister Skin exists. What about Jim Joint? Which is fucking absolutely wild. <laughs> And I've got, uh, I mean, if we were going to go groups, my last pick was going to be for sure the Workaholics crew from Game Over Man. My favorite stoners of all time. Mm, they I are see, but there's so much so more known for Workaholics. I know, it's like, but I'm just saying they made a movie so I could technically Do they get ripped it. in that movie? Is there, is there, are oh, they smoking yeah. weed? Oh, yeah. Oh, there is, yes. That. That's right, because they blow all the weed into the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> not only that, not only that, <laughs> it's not necessarily weed, but uh, Adam's growing salvia in his room to sell to make money. Oh, that's when they end up blowing into there. <laughs> that's right, okay, fuck. So I have, I have a few that are like, just just small little parts but one you might know him as scott farkas but you also oh, might know him as red dog red red, red dog. dog almost famous almost famous that's a good one hey brother you know yeah. i'm just saying he's ve- definitely high and then Big another farkas, one you think farkas got two days of work off that film dude <laughs> that's right in the poker game and at the concert yep um ed from Shaun of the dead I yeah. love, I love, he's, he's I a love. weed dealer and he, 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 they're in the middle of all this zombie shit, and guys are calling him about scoring more weed. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah. And he keeps picking up his phone to answer. Yeah. What's that? So true, though. If there was really a zombie apocalypse, <laughs> there would be like hordes of stoners just calling the I need my like, weed. Yeah. I need some smoke. <laughs> right right you now. Got. That, I'm holed up right now. I, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm very embarrassed. And, and this is ones that. You want that delivery we ta- service. We talked about the fact that there's some folks that just do not smoke weed ever in their movies, but they are stoners. Goddamn, Bill and Ted are yeah hundred percent well, stoners. They uh, never admit it on film in any sense, really. But they are fucking stoners. Well, if you're gonna go that route, Shaggy, that uh, from Scooby Doo. If you can from apply, Scooby-Doo? if you can apply stoners and Scooby Doo, then sh- well, they both I mean, got, fucking want Scooby. They both snacks. had horrible cases of the munchies. For real, you if we're what? going there, Gargamel from the Smurfs. I mean, fuck that that dude was fucked. And, and, <laughs> why do why do Bill and Ted go to the, the Circle K? Because they're fucking stone as fuck, and they're just like we. Got, yeah. And and the the problem would be in our draft the way we did it, choosing Bill versus Ted. God damn. <laughs> this is the last time we have an audience. T- 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 it was that Tim. Tim's like, I gotta go make my idiots list. <laughs> but 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 how would you? I don't know how you would choose Bill and Ted. Which one would be the mo- the more? No, they both suck the most. Take Bill for Shut it. the fuck up. Ted, <laughs> Keanu Reeves. So I, I have a few you more. You could say, dude, where's my car in that? Whoever Jesse, Reeves. Jesse and Chester are, are in that same vein. They never really like rip blunts in the in the movie, but they are oh, definitely so, Stifler wins that. So a few a few in the in the you know on the. You know they're just not. Are you sure they're stoners? So Booger from Revenge of the Nerds, he brings Wonder Joints to the party. He has them. He has Wonder Joints. Right. He makes the fucking party happen. Okay. Well, in Better Off Dead, he's more of a druggie than a than a stoner. Mm-hmm. Right. But I'm talking about Booger in Revenge of the Nerds. Right. Same same actor. And then one of my favorite is very 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 small scene, and it's a movie Robo- RoboCop. <laughs> they do an interview with a guy. <laughs> Who fucking I swear to God I thought was Eddie Van Halen, but it's not Eddie. Oh Van Halen. shit! So somebody, <laughs> yeah, that, but that the, guy might be tweaked out on some something. A lot heavier. of jungle. He's yeah. on a future drug, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's he's on something a little bit. He's on Nuke. He, yeah, he got the first version. He got Nuke, that total is, recall drug. <laughs> Robocop two. They bring out the Nuke, and I think yeah. that's what he was already on. So anyway, that he's one of my favorite stoners ever. But it's such a small part. He's just like the, the, just a great little small little like literally like five second performance. So great. I'm gonna say one that makes you guys mad right now. Barry from Road Trip. Tom Green. Yeah, that's a yeah. Good one. he spends a lot of time eating yeah. snakes and uh, <laughs> just being touching high as fuck touching constantly. mice to his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> he is constantly stoned. I don't. I don't know if he's stoned. Does it show him smoking weed? 
I think he has a weed scene. I don't. Do, think does he that make him a stoner, bro? Is that before or after Amy Smart uh, uh, disrobes? <laughs> I <laughs> thought that would go over well. Okay, let me. La- last, <laughs> last one up. Yeah. Last- Why don't you just see yourself out, okay, bro? No, I've got more. Yeah. Fuck that. Last one I'll I'm, bring I'm up. I'm coming back to bat. I might have struck out right then, but <laughs> All right. I'm stepping back up okay. the plate. I got a few more then. Okay. Go for it. So Dante from Grandma's Boy. Yeah, we yeah. talked about Grandma's Boy earlier. Okay. Did what we? about Bender no, we talked, from? We uh, talked Grandma's Boy like. On old pod, like we haven't talked about that on this pod. What about Bender from Breakfast Club? Jesus, he's trying to just. You no, like just grandma? Saying. You like grandma? Grandma's boy. I like Don, grandma's boy. I'll we talked grandma's about boy. It Dante from Grandma's Boy. That is when something. When did we talk about? When did but, we talk about that? But what was his line about a lion? Pod? Like, but, but no. no. Like, so, so, so you got a dog. That's you what? can get a dog. Anybody can get past a dog. Nobody gets past a fucking lion. Because <laughs> they're going to get a lion. Bro, nobody gets past a lion, bro. His first introduction to the film is he's naked and hanging Christmas ornaments, and it's fucking July. So he's high as fuck. He, yeah. That he's super high. Morning. I don't know anybody's ever been that high. All right, let's fire them all. Let's fire off a few more. Let's go. Let's go. Sam, walk all hard. You don't want this. <laughs> I thought he's talking about, about how good the drugs yeah. are. <laughs> yep. You don't want this shit. You don't want this shit. Uh, does it, Timmet- does it make, it, does it makes make your you feel dick so old? good? <laughs> no, it makes sex better. It's the, it, it sounds kind of expensive. That's the cheapest drug you could buy. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Meadows just killing in that scene. So like, great. It just, it's yeah. absolutely wonderful. Scotch? Uh, how about Mark from Empire Records? Nobody? Is that Ethan is that, is that the kid that, that steals the, the CDs? He's no he, Ethan Embry. It's Ethan Embry oh. in Empire Records. He's the one fucking he gets fucking high. He eats the pot brownies and he's oh. he, he watches the guar video and he gets fucking oh eaten by oh. the big worm. And That's, he goes up to the girl and like like it's like stands like right next to the girl who's yeah. like listening to music with her eyes closed and like yeah, yeah. He's, he's pretty high. He's the bass player in the wonders. That, yeah. that thing you do. That's right. The Oneaters. The Oneaters. Um, a couple matters. more. I, I said next Friday is one of my favorite. Roach from from next Friday and Day Day from next Friday are both great stoners. Roach, is especially because that poor kid, he he died. He was the kid from from uh, Kids, oh, and then shit. he was in Next Friday, and then right after that he died. And he could have had a good career because he he had some charisma about him. He was like kind of funny, and he had a he had a good night like, little stoner persona. So that sucks that he died. Stoner persona, I like that. A, st- a stoner. It was sound. Justin. I forgot what his last name is, but R. I. P. <laughs> so, yeah, have, have we, I think was. we've dug deep enough into the all. Yeah, we've well. dug no, 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 so no, deep. No, like we dug so, so deep that I forgot. Who two won. more movies. Two more. Fire them off, Jesus Brad. Christ! I got, Jesus I Christ. Christ. You're the dog. king of the slow roll right Loke now. Dog, don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice. Okay, in the hood. okay. Loke dog, when when the dude <laughs> smokes so much that he falls down and dies. And Loke, Give me that shit! Like he has to pick it up, and then uh, how high we've got uh, uh, Silas and and Jamal, Method Man and Red Man. That's a fun movie. John no. Lovitz being involved in that weed movie is always is always a good time. And my last one is is Travis from Coolest. So very much in the same version of like yeah. the the kids dude because like they have like the same kind of style. Right, Breck and Meyer. Breck and Meyer. It's so. A- that was fun. He might have murdered that was great. whatever his name is. That was great. That was a fucking Let's go back elongated. To the, game. I, think, I feel like part where I won. Zach lost, lost the draft Scott about 30 won. minutes ago. I, I'm pretty sure I may have lost the draft. I don't know. I fucking, I've lost all track of time. <laughs> so what are we doing next week, guys? I believe it's Brad. Be rad? You know what? We, we're, we're pretty deep in fan, fantasy football. Ooh. And the NFL mm. season. I mean, Ooh. I, I, I call it the fantasy football season, but some other people are call you, it the NFL season. So wait, are you, are you referring to our, our murderers only league? That we, no, that no, we no, 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 no. Oh, I'm, I'm, okay. I, I'm unfortunately calling fantasy football league because right now my, my Niners are, are not having the, the best season. It's, They're doing fine. It's dude. hurting me. It's, it's hurting early. me a little bit. It's early. Early. Oh, oh, no. I did not give up when they were three and five last season. Th- I had a deep conversation with folks that this team is still great and they made Brad, a fantasy championship. Three they games were a in. Jaquise Guitar interception away from going to the Super Bowl and winning. Three games in. They've so. given up 9.1 points a game. The defense is awesome. And they're one and two. Trent Williams what been out for a few weeks. Hurts fuck? a lot. It does. It's disgusting. Also having 
multiple quarterbacks have started and having a team having it's, to it's build been, themselves it's been, it's, it has you, mean, the you mean having a starting quarterback that you told all offseason that we don't give a shit about you and your dog shit and you should fucking go to another team? So do you think and it's then, in Jimmy's best interest and now to continue to, to be start? dog shit? Uh, <laughs> basically, the 49ers were like varsity blues. This yeah. like, you know, Mox is a piece of shit until all of a sudden it was a, uh, it was a, it was a, goes not, down and then nah, all of a sudden Mox is the man. Give the hug and say, you're my boy. It was like it was like if James Vanderbeek ran out the back of the end zone with the ball, then threw a pick six, and then was happy that they called the safety on him because he ran out of the back of the end zone. <laughs> why do we got, why do we got to bring up old shit? That was like weeks ago. Uh, that All happened right. two days ago. All right. So, <laughs> so, I'm still pissed. So are you so, 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 so are you saying we're turning football, into an NFL podcast next I think, week? I or? think we're going to turn an NFL podcast because we're going to talk about what kind of fantasy season uh, a, a man named Rod Tidwell might have had. Show me the money. We're going to do a great little movie called Jerry Maguire. Mm. Jerry Maguire. Mr. Cruz. A the Quan. <laughs> I've got, great, I've got a great. I've got a great story. Show some money about Jerry Maguire. I'm excited. It's a fun movie. Me too. Uh, Michelle Zellweger. What's her name? Renee? That's Renee. She's no, no. Michelle's. In, you mean she's time Oscar so winner? Funny. You know she's in Days and Confused. Yeah, yes, Renee she is. Zellweger. Yeah, yeah. So Thank we're, you. We're That's all with I was the, nice pull. I think whoa, 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 whoa. we said from she here is? on out we're doing yeah. that. She's a, a she's credited as senior girl in blue truck. Uncredited. One of the one of the senior girls when they're when they're. Hazing the freshman girl. Okay, she's right. in it. So, because she looks a lot like Joey Lauren Adams, and I thought nope. maybe you were going to be nope. confused. Yeah. Nope. Nope. You got to look. That's you, although when, I do love Joey Lauren Adams. While they were filming the movie, they all of a sudden went and they like split apart. Oh, and they shit. were just like, oh, okay. And then one of Two them has talent. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one was in Mall Rats. Okay, the other one cool. was kind of cute. <laughs> yeah. the other one was uh, one in, of them had a heli squeaky voice. It was kind of like a kind of squeaky voice. It's kind of like twins. You know what I mean? I mean, they are. Hey, DeVito did okay. The video did just fine. <laughs> hey, so yeah, Jay McGuire. Uh, we're gonna do a little Cameron Crow. We've we've done some of his movies before. And we've done a couple. Yeah, so we're we're back on some Cameron Crow. Soon shit. to be Vanilla Sky. We had it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but it is football season, and this is a, a football slash romantic comedy. Hey, so come see us next week. We're gonna do uh, Jerry McGuire. We love you guys. Thank you, Mr. Pink. We appreciate you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Bye bye. Stop!